Let's yeah. go, baby. I'm too wired. Like, I just want to grab something. Grab I don't like it. Grab Kyle. I don't want to grab Kyle. You saw what he did to me, pushed me you out need, the door. You need a, you need something to squeeze. Something you to need squeeze? a squeezy thing for your hand. Like I'm like, I feel like I'm like, you're why the fuck you're did I do that? Why are you jacked up, dude? Because of fucking coffee. I should have drank that coffee. It was just a cup of Yeah, and it was a two shots of no, it was one of those. Yeah. Oh, who told you to do that? Two shots is dangerous, huh? I mean, if you, if you never do drink, anything. I can drink two shots of espresso and take a long. But I, but I love the taste. I love the taste of what I was drinking. There you go. And I'm fucked Welcome. up. Welcome. No, I don't think I can handle this. Really, you seem all right. I seem all right. Yeah. Are you just no, I, you're you saying that to calm me down? A little you more. You do look like you've been pulled over and you're yeah. answering questions. Yeah. Yeah. You, what, seem, uh, like, yeah, you I, seem nervous. Uh, I'm drunk right now. You, <laughs> yeah. you, have, you have a driver's license. Insurance? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I have. I have but it. Why also. did you decide to try it? You were tired today. Uh, no, it's just the, we didn't sleep great. No, no, we didn't. But I think it was just the, I, I've had a coffee at this spot before. What spot? First of all, it was Blue Jam. Mark and I went to yeah. Blue Jam right after. But like, I don't know what they did to it today. To was where it, I feel was it Mark's French press. I don't know if they did something to it. Mm. Now Why, you had, the French press is strong. Yeah. Oh yeah. Did you have What's you French had press? espresso? You had an espresso small. It was an iced Two mocha. Espressos. An iced mocha. And they and they give two shots. So I'm fucked up. I mean, for me. That does nothing. I, I wake up, I do two shots, then I do another two shots. His drink at the gym. Eight shots of espresso. Eight shots. That's a lot of, well, that's a big, and that's, that's a big one. to get me through the workout. <laughs> yeah. And then I'll stop and get another <laughs> coffee on the way there. And then this is my third of the day. What is this? This is that, a That's that groundwork. Yeah. Oh, yeah. it's that nitro. This has all the caffeine in it. My, my adrenal glands, and I had the shot time when I was fighting. They're like well, They flat. told me, they're like, dude, they just... To a stimulus, you just soak them in yeah. shit all the time. Yeah. They like nothing gets to them. Yeah, and you know what else? And, and you and I are junkies because we're just looking for a little, mm -hmm. that little euphoric. That we're chasing that caffeine dragon. And that's all I've been doing my whole. Oh, life. you know what I did though, dude? Is what? on uh, Friday between the shows, I was like, because I didn't sleep at all Thursday and I had trouble sleeping. So I was like, man. And Jake's like, why don't you get a Red Bull? And I'm like, yeah, I like, I like Red Bull. <laughs> that won't affect me too much because I drink so much coffee. Sure. I drink a sugar-free Red Bull. Show is fine. Heart going. <laughs> Fluttering. We get back. We back to the Airbnb. Everyone, all right, guys, go to bed. It's one in the morning. I'm like, cool. Laying in bed, I'm so exhausted. And I, you know when you just can't sleep? I was yeah. staring at the wall. My heart just no. 5:45 a.m. Finally fall. Finally fall asleep. My like, oh, thank God, because I don't have to do anything today. Thank God. <laughs> oh <Sure>. shit. 5:45 <laughs> a.m. Yeah. I look at the clock. Sure. Start to pass out. 6 a.m. on the clock. <laughs> I'm like. Wait, wait, what in the fuck? A rooster. rooster? Yes. I'm like, holy fuck. Every morning, Brian. Every, every morning. morning. We're in a suburb. In a regular they, neighborhood. They had a you're farm. You're not allowed to have fucking, a, but you're not allowed to have chickens. That's why they zone fucking fowl. It was insane. Like every fucking morning. What are the, what are these zoning laws for fowl Dude, in that area? How insane is that? Insane. And the neighborhood, the neighborhood seems fine with it. <laughs> It sounded old as fuck. And I was like, <laughs> but loud. Now, here's the thing. So, so here's the thing. So, you know, I, I, I was like, why the fuck would uh, Red Bull fuck me up? And me and Jay looked it up. And a lot of people have this problem because it's synthetic caffeine. It's not oh. real caffeine. And there's taurine in it. Your Ooh, body metabolizes taurine. it different. Right. So my body's like, what is this? It's new. It was new. Oh, my God. What, what, does, that, what well, does that mean? So, so like, my, my guess is you may have been next to some cockfighting rings because- if you got roosters, doesn't, nobody's laying eggs. Why are you breeding roosters, bro? Oh, you cockfighting. You think cock that's what it is? big that, money. Oh, yeah. Up and, there? And Daddy, really? Daddy would have bet on it. Oh, yeah. I, dude, let me in, dog. Oh, they, me put, they put uh, razors on there. and then, Yeah, and they go, you never seen that? And they, they sharpen their claws and they it's kill each other? It's big money, bro. I thought that was just like a foreign thing. You got a hole in your... Yeah. Yeah. I'm oh, just like that. Oh. I know, yeah. You should, if you're oh, like, wow. what'd you, don't look your arm like no more. Hole. I know. It's your entire arm, fucking, no, that's not a hole. Your like, entire <laughs> armpit is cut out, dude. I've had, I've had this sweater for a minute. Yeah. <laughs> for a minute. I found, I was like, you know, you're like, oh, I'll wear this today. Anyway, thank you. So that so that rooster allowed us to get zero sleep. And did it keep going? For, oh, yeah. Oh, we woke up early house. every day. So every morning I was up at six, no matter what time I went to bed. So I'm exhausted. Oh, fuck. So my girl's like, hey, what time do you land? I'm like, I land at 10. She's like, okay. Tiger's uh, best friend's birthday party is at 11. I'm like, fuck yeah. Oof. So, uh, dude, I'm so, like, I'm, me and I was driving college. I'm like, Feeling. I'm driving like. Oh, you, had, you drove back, you drove to San Jose. No, no, no right, right. from the airport, from sure. Burbank. Sure. So I'm driving, dropped Kyle off, and I'm so tired. And I'm like, oh my God, I got four hours of their kid's birthday party. And I remember a friend of mine gave me Adderall a long time ago. 
uh-huh. and Daddy has it in his little sock drawer. Okay. <laughs> and now, how much did you take? Because I would just before you I said don't know, before I don't, you answer, I don't know anything I about it. I took ten milligrams, and I ten? I was Fucked wired. Up. I was on cocaine. Ten, right? Uh, ten yeah, and I was like, oh, this will focus me. Ten probably what you some, should take. I had some reading to do. Sure. Yeah. Not sure. for me. I'm texting and listening sure. to music like a like a sure. fucking meth See, freak. Ten's average, right? Yeah, I wanted to clean the plane. Ten, I, yeah. the plane. I wanted to clean the window. Yeah, ten, you're gonna, you're gonna get your master's degree in t- two days online. Yeah. Dude, here's my thing. Yeah. I don't know drugs. How many pills did you take? I get I one take. pill, but I noticed there's like a little div in it, so you could break it in yeah. two. I'm like, mm, I'm a big dude. Fifty milligrams, sir. Oh, oh you got the fifty milligrams. Dude, this kid's birthday party oh, no, lit no, no, as no. fuck. No. Dude, I came in like, hey. <laughs> one dad would be like, hey man. I'm like, hey, how are you doing? Dude, I was things are great too. You're optimistic party. as fuck, right? You know what the thing is? They had my favorite pizza there. Even though I'm like keto, I was like, oh, I'm gonna push it today. Of course. You don't eat on Adderall. No. My girl goes, Why aren't you eating on Adderall? Mouth is Who dry. cares? Mouth is dry. And, and then jaw. Yeah. Just clinched the whole Swallowing. time. Mm-hmm. The whole time. Well, it's Coke. Oh, but yeah. It's well, amphetamine. Oh, it was that kid's five year old party and it's, he's supposed to be the life of the party yeah your boy's life of the party because i couldn't stop dude I was, gra- I was grabbing balloons i was kicking balls Great mood. <laughs> four hour energy i dude. call that fucking pill anything's possible anything's it's, possible it's the, anything's possible for about five days but you're five not hours. you're not you're like, creative amazing. you're not you just you're not go. you're not you creative. can't be creative you're just like moving it. no man. You're, you're talking a million miles an hour and still want to be like man the weather today like do you say weather? <laughs> and then you just fucking I got go. I weather stories. Oh, dude, you go. Yeah, yeah. And 10, 10 milligrams fuck and you And my girl's like, you're not eating? And she's like, I don't think I've ever seen you talk to these dads this much in my life. <laughs> I was like, just happy to be here, man. And she's like, what's wrong with your jaw? Because I'm seeing happy birthday as all. Because I was coming down, you know? I'm like, oh, dude. And then you crash. Then you cook a crap. You must have you slept hard that uh, night. Yeah. Yeah, the big man went down. But uh, but when I do do that, it, sometimes I wake up at like two in the morning. I fuck sure. with my sleep cycle. That's, but I took so much CBD that I just conked myself out. So you're going, you're you're doing. You were counter. So were you trying to counteract it? We're, we're roller coastering all day. We got we got nicotine. Well, just yesterday, because well, we got we got typically on a day we've got at least twenty five espressos. We got some kratom going. We got some nicotine God, going. No, and then we got mm-hmm. and then, then let's throw in some Adderall. And then well, let's that's go. That's very rare. Right. But then let's go. Kids' birthday party? Six yeah. hours, doggy? Yeah. And I get a basic podcast with these fucking dads for six hours around the pool? It's a lot. In the sun? It's a lot. <laughs> In the sun? Bubba, it's a lot. In I, the sun? As you and I say, if you're not making me laugh. And I have laugh, nothing in common with these dads? <laughs> if you're not making me laugh, making me money, or I'm not learning something. Oh, there's you're not, not interested. Brother. I'm a dead man right now. I'm too old. Yep. I'm too old. I can't just hang. Say something intriguing. Now that. That's a tough one because you're around the pool. And the sun. They have their thing. The sun. The Oof. sun. Those birthday parties can be, hey, hey screw it. I have fun with them, but yeah. I'll find one guy. Oh, I, I might. My, 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 yeah, my boy Toby. He's he's like me. He's he's yeah. great. He's I the found, one guy. Every time I'm going, like, hey, you going to this thing? Like, yeah, I'm like, thank God. Yep. Because other dads are just soy my fr- boys. My, 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 yep, my friend. Soy boys. My son's 10-year-old birthday. They were masked up outside. They were? No, they weren't. Stop. I promise. And they go, you're going you're gonna to take your mask off? Uh, what? I'm outside. Uh-huh. But then, you know, I think it was that or all. made me way more friendly. I went, uh, wh- why do you wear yours? When usually you need kind of roast them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, you're such a good mood when you're on that stuff. Oh, man. 50 great. milligrams? I- I'd probably start a business. Dude, by 9 p.m. though, I was like. <sighs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'd be you're fucking terrified because I'm terrified right now for oh, this coffee. Caffeine? Yes. God, you know, you know, not like you gotta it. start living, dude. Living. Those parties, those parties. What happens is, for me, I see it. It's my son's ten, tenth birthday party. A bunch. Of, I don't know the parents. Is this recent or no? Yep, I don't know the parents. Blah blah blah. I gravitate to one dude. He just seems cool. I lock onto one guy. And you know what? Turned out he was a fireman. Oh and yeah. I was like, makes sense. He's I always lock onto one guy. Yeah. Just one dude. And then when he leaves, I'm like, eee shit. Yes. And then then it's a wrap. Then it's a problem. This guy's more Adderall. And then and then and then everybody's my friend. Yeah. You want to snort some Adderall? Does it go in your body faster? Okay. Dude. Well, because I want to stay awake and be positive yeah, for my Adderall child. Is and now I get why kids in college take it. Like, you know, stay up. Fucking yeah. meatball over there fucking snorts it up his ass. You do? You do? do. Meatball. Put it right in the shit. For real? Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. Do you have it's a, pres- bloodstream. You have a prescription that. for it? Yeah. So yes, you I take do. you take the pill and stick it with a thumb. You, 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 you digit it right up your shitter? Yeah. How far up? Pretty far. Like, sometimes I get, Knuckle like, deep. you know, like the little dust buster. I'll put it on reverse and I'll put, like, the little Knuckle in. deep. No, but for reals, you you take like I do. I do. How take, many milligrams? Oh, I thought this motherfucker was serious. No, no. 
Oh, Jesus. you don't put it in your ass. No. Oh, no, I was just making fun of him. Like oh, Come I'm on, sitting here guys. like, I'm like, God damn. He's not, a f- he's not giving me an intervention. <laughs> <laughs> <He's> a lateral <laughs> in the ass. It hey, he was fast. It was convincing. You know just that is? But it does absorb fast. Yeah. It does. Doesn't it? Like if you put some, like a pill like up a Bro, I had a friend who now he's an alcoholic and ran uh, drug trafficking for the cartel. Makes sense. He's in prison now. Yeah. But he was our college roommate <laughs> and he was a raging alcoholic and he would put whiskey shots up his asshole. Yes. Fruits. And he got so common practice, he'd be like, oh, there he goes, drinking whiskey through his ass. That's so it's fucking weird. Shot. That's insane. I know there was a guy, my buddy. It's so dangerous because there's no filter. It doesn't go through the liver. It goes straight well, to his well, system. Well, Jimmy, Fuck. Jimmy Burke, our buddy, his, his buddy, he had let his buddy stay with him from Ireland for a month. Well, his buddy would do a coffee enema every fucking morning, stick a tube up his shitter, and be in the bathtub. And Jim was like, you know, this is my apartment. <laughs> you know I mean? And you just do coffee? Yeah, it's like, like a dark roast? This is not good, man. For what was that? Like a light a blonde? Or what are we right talking up about the shitter. Just, just, but, but like, you think I have a problem? That's another level. That's weird shit, man. Yeah, that guy was That can't be morning. safe. Jim was like, I that was ja- Dude, that guy was putting coffee grinds up his ass and jacking off in his tub. Well, yeah. Adderall is a big time, it's very abused, right? As a narcotic, everybody does it. I was in fucking um, Indiana and a guy goes and gave me Adderall. Like I'm, I'm like I'm That's a nice. Did guy. you take it? I'm not gonna no. trust. No, him. I didn't. Yeah, why? Well, yeah, why? Well, yeah. Of course I didn't but take but uh, Meatball, you have a prescription for it? Yeah. So I have a prescription for Vivance, which is 50 milligram um, 50? extended. It's time 50. released. Ooh. So like, I, I take know. one and I'll have Check one through the entire You've been taking it since you were a kid. Can't yeah. OD on it. Like I don't, I don't take it all the time. Like I'll take it like three times a week. Usually I have those and then I have 20s. What's uh, the reason why they prescribe you to it? I have ADD. Yeah. Yeah, don't we all? Hey, so. Uh, <laughs> I mean, that's what I was told. <laughs> yeah, 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 me too. Every kid has ADD. Yeah. You yeah. mean lots of energy and bored as fucking school? We all have it. So, no, when I, <laughs> when I don't take it, when I don't take it, I'm tired. Like, nah, I don't want to do anything. Because you're used to it. It's all yeah. mental. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, no, no. I, I, I know addict. I don't need it anymore. You're a drug addict. And it's you're a drug fine. addict. I'm not an addict. Is he a drug addict? addict? You think he's an addict? Do you ever take, and be honest, and it's okay because you're nobody's listening and also you're in a circle of trust. Do you ever take Meth? four Vivans at the same time? Oh my no. God. Time Hell release. no. Because it can time release. You can't OD on it unless you take... See, no. I, like, four? I'll take well, one. What happens is it's a time release thing, right? So you like take Like every 15 one, minutes it pops? One, it'll, it'll pop at five milligrams. Fantastic. But a lot of guys... How do not have coffee like this? Right. But a lot of people want to get that big rush, so they'll take a lot of Vivans. See, what, I, what, I, what do you I mean the like big rush? Yeah. This guy. I feel this like guy. I have a big rush right now. I've never heard of these, but... Meatball, what's up, yeah. guy? Mm-hmm. Yeah. My teeth are chattering. Oh, weird. But um, hey, bro, you know what? <laughs> yeah, dude, don't. I can't fucking help it. It might insane. be mental. I'm fucked you know what up. What I mean? <laughs> hey, but Meatball, when you take uh, Adderall, the next day, are you like mean? Or um, like, because there's a down, right? Like, so or during my calm down, I'm more mean. Not like usually the next day when I'm, because like you said, you don't eat on it. So I can tell I'm starting to come down because. I'll start to be hungry, but like I'll try and eat and, can't and eat. I can't eat yeah. and I'll be aggravated by it. So like, I'll just, and I'll like, I'll notice like someone will be like, Hey, what's up, man? I'll be like, shut the fuck up. Like, I'll just be very yeah. agitatable. Let's just go like, over Adderall real quick. First of all, let's do it. Insane energy. Fantastic. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You don't want to eat on it. So you lose weight. You get shredded. I'm sorry. Yeah. You get shredded. Why aren't we pushing this stuff more? I use it every time I go to the gym. It's the best. Well, because it is a strong narcotic, and it is. Isn't it? Isn't it like a cousin of meth? Well, it's an amphetamine salt. Yeah. So I guess it's. Uh, yeah. You use it to go to the gym. Yeah. I'll take one instead of pre-workout and shit. I'll, I'll, well, I'll take one of those, and then I'll go drink the pre-workout drink or like a bang or something. How are you that. not Jack? Yeah. Because I don't. I've been. He's, he's pretty muscular. He's I'm just. He's, he's he looks good. He's, he's doing shit. 100 milligrams of Adderall on a red line. You, you should I'm be like, fucking. I'm. You take a I, red line. No, uh, oh. like bang C four, like those. I haven't done red wine, but like I, I have a problem oh, eating. That's why fucking crazy energy drink. Oh. Is it the craziest one? Yeah, huh? Dude. Is it red line the craziest one? I have no. It's idea. so dangerous. I think they used to put a feather in it. Look it up, Jen. I, they change it now, but me and Jay drunk one and cop one time, and I thought I was gonna have a heart attack. Have you ever had the Celsius heat? No, I don't get down with that shit, dude. What's that? I draw the line at Adderall. It's it's uh Celsius the energy drink. Like it's a healthy energy drink, but they have a it's heat a fat one. Burner? Yeah, I took oh, I drank one during my workout because like I got one late, so I was drinking uh-huh. it while I was working out. I come home, and it's st- like you. I was so fucked up. I was like about to put my head in the wall. I had to go on like a fucking three mile run. Yeah, because I was like so like wound up. At from the it. end of the day, t- your adrenals, your heart. I don't know. I mean, it's not good for it. Fucking with things. Wait, isn't four loco an energy drink with alcohol? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. 
No, it was. Those are banned. Yeah, those, those are banned. Back. Oh, they're banned? Oh. They brought them back, but with yeah, they're, they're, they're soy boy. I had one, and my fucking chest was hurting from it. Yeah, you gotta be careful, man. Yeah. Damn. Definitely not great. Yeah. This, Chin, you don't fuck with anything like that? Energy drinks? No. Adderall? No, I tried it. You didn't like it? Don't Did like you drink it. coffee? I drink coffee sometimes in the morning. One thing that I pride myself on is I'm a hard sleeper, but it has to be the right mattress. I stay in Airbnbs all the time when I'm on the road, and they don't have my mattress. They don't have a Helix Sleep mattress, and I don't sleep as good. I just don't. I like to wake up rested and refreshed, and sometimes when it's not Helix Sleep, that's not the case. So when I get home, the thing I appreciate most, besides my kids, is my mattress. All right? If you need the best mattress that's made just for your body, get Helix Sleep. Helix Sleep has a quiz that takes just two minutes to complete. It matches your thick-ass body type and your sleep preferences with the perfect mattress built for you, not just for any Joe Schmo, built for you and the way you sleep, all right? I took the Helix Sleep quiz, and I was matched with a great mattress that's built for me, man. It's firm. I like to sleep on my side, and I move around, and so it, it takes care of all that, man. The mattress is built for those demands. So if you're looking for a mattress, you take the quiz, you are the mattress that you're matched to, the mattress comes right to your door, shipped for free. You don't ever need to go to a mattress store ever again. Just go to helixsleep.com slash fighter. Take their two-minute sleep quiz like I did. They'll match you with a customized mattress that will give you your best sleep ever. 10-year warranty. You get to try it for 100 nights risk-free. If you don't love it, they'll pick it up for you. But you're well, so don't worry about it. Helix even has financing options available, flexible payment plans. So a great night sleep is never far away. Again, you can save $200 off all mattress orders at helixsleep.com slash fighter. You also get two free pillows. That's for the viewers and listeners of the Fire and the Kid. Helixsleep.com slash fighter. Football's back, y'all. The first Sunday of NFL season is finally done. It doesn't stop, though. It continues with DraftKings Sportsbook, the official sports band partner of the NFL and UFC. DraftKings is giving all new customers a can't-miss offer to celebrate the return of the NFL season. Bet just $1 on any Week 2 game and receive $200 in free bets instantly no matter what. That's right. DraftKings Sportsbook is giving all new customers $200 in free bets instantly when they bet at least $1 on any Week 2 football game. DraftKings is safe, secure, reliable, making it easy to deposit, withdraw your money when you want. Download DraftKings Sportsbook app now. Use promo code FIGHTER. Receive $200 in free bets when you place a $1 bet on any Week 2 game. That's promo code FIGHTER. Get your free $200 in free bets instantly. This week at DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports brand partner of the NFL. Must be 21 or older, New Jersey, Indiana, Pennsylvania only. New customers only. Restrictions apply. See DraftKings.com slash sportsbook for details. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER or in Indiana, 1-800-9-WITH-IT. Sometimes. Sometimes. Well, just like a little black coffee? I yeah. Mean, I've black. never seen Chin with a ton of energy. <laughs> 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 <You know? laughs> Right? I don't bounce you, off the wall. You're right like, God, Jen is. I'm not. Yeah, Jen, he's Jen really, is wired up. Bring, bouncing off the wall. Jen no. goes at a three. Yeah. Should I bring him Jen's never out, out of five. He's never at ten. He's at a three. Well, I like chill. He's so consistent. Chill. Chill. Yeah. consistent. I like chill. That's why I'm freaking out right now. Yeah. He's like the rock. Yeah. Chill. Chill's better. Yeah. Ch Mecca. Chin's the Cal Ripken of podcast producers. Yes. You're yeah. always a three. Yeah. It's you get to the Hall of Fame. Yeah. But I'm just chill. I'm trying to be like Barry Bonds and juice and hit the fucking ball out the goddamn yes. sky. Yes. Mm. I like that you you are a fan of technology and you're a fan of whatever gives you an edge. Sure. And you push yourself and you just want to get a little, you know. But and you're also an addict and that's okay. Too. Correct. You know, you're just I'm a bit of an extremist. You like your cars fast. I started vaping you like your heart recently. Fast. Yep. Yeah, he is vaping. vaping too. Yep. Well, I don't inhale it though. Okay. We went yeah. to a full on vape shop. You still get high. Yeah, you went to a shop. Yep. Yeah, I went to San Jose vape shop. Yeah. I got a pretty cool one. I got to get you. Uh, oh, dude, I you owe me. One. Yeah. Vitor, beat the I know. fuck out of you. I know that fucking know. shit was Who up. let somebody's <laughs> grandpa fight? What <laughs> dude, he threw down throwing a hook. I was like, oh, my God. This is one of the greatest it was, yeah, it was, yeah. He just slipped and fell through the uh, rope throwing a hook. I'm like. I, I thought about that. You're one of the greatest of all time. And Father mm -hmm. Time, Father Time comes in and goes, you are an old man now. Yeah. There's a reason and, for it, though. That's right. You're and everyone's man. like, but with TRT and technology, dude, it does no. six boxing isn't for 60 year olds against Vitor Belfort. It was 44, yeah. but still still a hell of an athlete. Yeah. You know what I'd like to say? You know what I'm going to say? You what? know what I'm going to say? Vitor Logan Paul, Jake no, Paul, not Jake, not Logan. Jake. Yeah. That'd be a good fight, huh? 
Yeah, that'd be a hell of a fight. Tough fight for Jake. Very tough fight for Jake. That's it's a, it's tough to tell. T- where, that's a different thing, right? But it's tough to tell where Vitor's at. Like, yeah, anybody in this box, room yeah. in here would have beat Evander Holyfield. Uh, not me. I doubt it. I, 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 I would he would doubt it. Backflip, dude. He <laughs> he should not have been in there. Like, it we was so get dangerous. Clear, like you said, he. But I tell get, you, dude, yeah. I went. I did that charity event with him, and I was like, oh my god, how this guy put? He got cleared by Florida. Look at that. Oh gosh, that's awful. Poor guy. That is awful. It's just not right, man. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, Jack. For I know. He looks great. Oh, no. I don't like this at all. I don't like this, man. I don't like seeing one of the greats. Oh, Jesus See, but Christ. those aren't even like crazy shots either. Oof. And then the guy just had to. Oh, yeah. DJ yeah, yeah. Khaled uh, had to stop it. <laughs> Then how, how about Evander Holyfield was mad at the stoppage? Well, like, he's dude, act this should have been stopped six he's, weeks he's ago. Act <laughs> it stopped six weeks ago. You shouldn't have been allowed in there. Should have been stopped six weeks ago. Uh-huh. It was tough to watch, huh? Yeah. Yes. Didn't you see your boy Tito? Yeah, that was tough to watch. Too. What yeah. was weird is in the like oh, Derek Brunson by Tito. Derek's on food truck tomorrow, by the way. Oh. But uh, oh. what's interesting about that is we were watching all of us were watching the back, and I was like, oh, is this like a gentleman's agreement? Because he was kind of like half assing it. And then we at the angle, you couldn't really see Anderson land at flush. And then when you see like, oh, that is not gentleman's agreement. That was a hard oh, fucking damn. shot. Yeah, and it I looks think like Tito wants to fight Logan now, is what he said. So we're both coming off losses. Yeah, I, I don't like I, I, I told Chin this on Blow the Belt. I've been a fan of like this cross pollination of YouTubers, celebrities, and mm-hmm. fighting. Like, do what you want. If they're, if you're making money, more power to you. Yeah. The guys who are fighting these YouTubers getting their highest paydays of all time i'm mm-hmm. all for it this is the when i not tito and anderson that's whatever that makes sense when the first time i'm like oh oh we've gone too far is when evander got in there yeah and fell throwing a left hook at 60 i'm like mm. well what are we doing it's man? dangerous like, yeah. now it's just not it's dangerous it ruins his legacy it's yes. like what are we doing i man? also i'm as a huge fan of of tito's um and somebody who did so much for the sport I, I don't want to see him get hurt yeah. That's so bad for him at his age. At his age, that yeah. is oh so God. bad is for him. And 46. 40, 40, 40, too old. Damn. Because it's not just yeah. 44. You're talking about a guy who's pushed his body to such a limit yeah. and fought so much that when you take that kind of damage, and, and you know, I don't know how hard that shot was. It looked really hard, hard but the one thing that, that it seem, seems to be What's happening with a lot of guys shot? is mm-hmm. that when you, when you take enough damage to the head, because you've got to remember, he's training probably with boxers. Yeah. You're getting so hit. The full-on Your body sparring. will shut down earlier. I just hate seeing You're it. You're talking yeah. about one of the toughest dudes in the world. I hate seeing it. Yeah. Because I, I, I don't like seeing a great warrior like Tito put in there. Anderson Silva's still got a fuckload of punch left. That dude. Yeah, stud. One of the greatest strikers yeah. of all well, time. One of them's passionate about boxing, and the other guy's doing it for a payday, and that's what happens. There man. you go. It was tough. That was a tough card to watch, man. I don't think Jake Paul is 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 gonna want to like. I, I think if they start floating Anderson Silva's name out there, well, L- Logan and Anderson were pretty close to fighting before Logan fought Floyd. Be a long that'd be a short night for for Logan, I believe. Be tough, all due yeah. respect, yeah, yeah, it'd be tough. It's, that's I, I don't. I would be very surprised if Logan would take that fight. Do you think he would take that he fight? He was going to. Hmm. Did he get talked out of it? Uh, no, he got talked into Floyd Mayweather for a jigillion dollars. There you go. Smaller, much guy. smaller guy. Yeah. Yeah. But also a much bigger fight. Anderson is every bit as tall. Yeah, but Anderson versus Logan's not going to make that money. It does mm. well. Anything Logan does does sure. well, and Anderson does well, but not Floyd well. That's right. They're going to make all the money fighting yes. a small yeah. guy. Yes. No, and they're not, not stupid. Not get hurt. And, Probably not going to get knocked out like yeah. we saw, you know, last of the rounds. Yeah, Anderson. Did you go to any of the wing places me and my brother recommended? I did to? not go to any of the wing places. Let me explain why. Well, I go to Buffalo, dude. Now, hold on. Shit. I know. <laughs> oh, shit. Hold on now. I don't care about wings. You understand? Because wings are wings. I know they're better in Buffalo, it's but an they're American not. American thing. But they're not. You don't no, give a fuck. No, it's just, it's just wings, though. You yeah. know? I mean, there are different ways. I've had good wings. You know, you can salt and pepper them, or you can put buffalo. Hot sauce. I don't give a fuck. Well, you never had real ones. <laughs> yeah, I have. You never had them at Magic <laughs> <Sanchez>. <laughs> Chicken wings. I you, can't stand this. You eat? This annoys me when people do this because <laughs> I can't stand it. The best pizza is no, it's not. I know where it is, and also buffalo wings. I don't care. I don't but care. You didn't, chicken wings. you didn't try them. And I, di- I didn't try them on purpose. Oh wow, well, you're well, anti buffalo. Now, now I went this to. This is why people, don't, you know, this is why you piss buffalo people off. I know. I love buffalo. So no, nope. because you came in. You're like, <laughs> He came in and went, that was a shit town. I no, went, I did not say dude. that. In fact, I and didn't say that. you're like, I it. fucking hate the no, Buffalo Bills, too. 
<laughs> hey, man, you're trying to turn Buffalo against me with yeah. lies. Yeah. No, I didn't. I like, but I loved Buffalo and I love the people. And it's ten minutes away from Canada, which I didn't know. By yeah, the way, ten minutes close. away. Well, it's ten minutes away from Canada, so I was like, you guys are. You could have drove to Niagara Falls. You're Canada heavy. Yeah. They're so nice. Uh, the people are so fucking so, nice. Mm -hmm. yeah, they're great people. Oh, uh, and the crowds are. They're just yeah. great. They come to laugh. Back, but yeah, yeah, great shows. Yeah. yeah. You'll never it, be it, back. Well, it takes so long to get there. I found. Might as well fly to Toronto. Correct. But I did find, you find your places. I found my place, Graylin, in walking this into my, my hotel. Graylin is a gin bar. It's a classy gin bar with great cocktails that they mix. And I just sat at that thing and I drank. That myself. was your world. I had some cocktails. And you know what I'm I into you now? I drinking. I'm into Amaro. I don't drink, but I like something like Amaro. You like to taste it. Which is that liqueur, that, that Italian herbal liqueur. Like Campari? Is it Campari? Yours? It's not Campari, but Campari. you'd like a lot of Campari. You'd like Amaro, yeah. Well, they made a lot of drinks with Campari oh, and yeah. stuff, man. Oh. I like Campari and the Rocks, man. The cool thing about the internet is it shrunk the world, and you can get the best of LA and the best of New York in Buffalo if you know where to look. Mm. That that shit is my that's my drink right now. Amaro. Uh, what is Italian. it? Italian. It's just like a syrupy, just, bittersweet. Yeah, I like it's the bitter. fucking good, man. Not a lot of alcohol. Sixteen percent. No, no, it's not. But. Mm. I was a gentleman. I was a gentleman. You just sat there and drank. And yeah. Everybody's really cool. You read. It doesn't really match the wing vibe. No, you didn't I'm, do Buffalo yeah. right. No, I get it. Now, I went in. I watched the Tampa Bay-Dallas game because I'm a big Dallas fan now because I watch Hard Knocks. And I'm, oh, yeah. I'm, I'm that always wins. Team Dallas. Yeah, yeah. That's what happens with me. <laughs> that's what happens with me. Don't let me see. You know, I start rooting for Hard the Knocks guys. Hard Knocks does it. The, the countdowns on Showtime have you... Your favorite box, some random Mexican Fucks dude. Me now. Up. Yeah. Like, damn, I like him. Don't tell me a backstory because yeah. all of a sudden I'm a fan. And that's why they do those shows. That's the countdowns, <laughs> all that, so that's why they do them. Now I'm all in with the yep. Buffalo, with the fucking, with the Dallas Cowboys. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And my and, dad will watch him like, dude, I think this guy has a shot against Canelo. You know, he grew up without a mom. Like, <laughs> dad, I know you got really into the show. I know. Please don't buy that kid's shirt. Yeah. He's going to get starched oh, in the sixth round. Now I'll tell you, now, having said that, as a, as, a, as a Dallas Cowboy fan and a Dak Prescott fan, who's a great quarterback. Uh, um, great in what terms? He has looks he's, never won. <laughs> he got injured, but Doesn't Dak Prescott's Doesn't matter before that. Deal. He's never won. You're going off backstory. I'm going to make, make, couple, I'm gonna make two. Tom Brady would be considered great. He's great. And Did you see his face when they had a minute 20 left? Yes, he's dude. Old. Yes. Yes. He like, was pissed. Holy shit. He was fucking he's, pissed. He, he felt disrespected dude, that I they know. scored so fast and gave him a minute and 20. You're like, Oh my God, I, dude! I, Me and my brother watching. I, I go, what a about fucking that. savage, dude! He just like this. He's like minute twenty. You, you can give me a minute twenty. Holy, you disrespectful <laughs> fucks! God, and then just. They, don't be surprised if they win the Super Bowl. Again. Oh no, for sure. It's the same Super Bowl team. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Antonio same Brown, you got all those guys. You yeah. got I think Gronk is there. Yeah. I mean, now, it's now you know you watch one episode of First Take and you're talking football, and I'm I don't like football. it, and I don't like I it. I know, I know. Okay? I know. I, I know you don't like it. Type in try Tampa Bay. I got Tampa. I got Tampa. Um, I might become a Tampa fan if they start how can winning. You not be? What do you right. mean? There's Super Bowl chance. I Super know. Bowl chance. And it's also Tom Brady. How about that? The Patriots dude. lost this weekend. I'm keeping my eye on Belichick, too, because I want to see what he can do. Mac Jones looked pretty good for yeah. his debut. Yeah. Better than the rest of those rookies. Um, I, Who's your team, Meatball? You're the only one here that's football. Patriots. Uh, Patriots and box, really. Mac Jones looked good. I, I couldn't even watch the game. We Why? didn't have because our I NFL package wasn't working. No oh, weird. Mm. Yeah. Max so we watched uh, the uh, the Rams game. Rams looked tough. Yeah. Rams it was a good. really good game. So the Rams won. Stafford's right. It was a beast, yeah. dude. It was a good game. My Broncos shit all up <laughs> on Giants. Mm. I'll tell you what, the Bills. Ooh, who the, is that? that? That's his, his girlfriend. girlfriend. Who's? Oh, so you don't become starting quarterback of Alabama, even though he looks pretty average. But yeah. you're gonna get a dime. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. You throw touchdowns for the Crimson you, Tide. You think it's going to work out for dicks you? Up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you feel me? I mean, their girls, <laughs> girls are going to want to breed with you. Let's put it that way. Yeah, yeah. even they're though you know, it looks like, you know, whatever. Speaking of breeding, uh, at, my t at my show, my last show in, in, in um, Buffalo, there was a group, a family there, and the lady, this this large family, and the lady On oh, large, mean there's a lot of them or a heavy set? Heavy set. A lot of them. Uh, oh, okay. Not so heavy set. In fact, two of the girls, three of the girls were such smoke shows, and I thought they were from, they looked like they were from Ethiopia. Mm. So I said, where are you guys from? They're like, Seattle, or, you know, I'm from this, and I was, Virginia, and I was like, oh, okay. I was, I, I yeah, don't way off. But yeah. they looked exotic. They were gorgeous. And I was okay, like, why, are these girl, why are these beautiful black girls coming to sure. Brian Callen's show? Yeah. 
So and then they love you. And then turns out, turns out they won't take you to the casino. Turns out <laughs> one. <laughs> no, it turns out one. Of, I think they love you, bro. One of those in LA is an actress. I guess so. I was there. Brought her family. Now here's the thing: the mother there, the mother, she had three sons, and two play on the Steelers, and one plays for the Bills. And I went. What's their names? I don't know. I didn't get the names. Mm. One is running back. The other was middle linebacker, and the other one's a safety. Type in brothers that play for Pittsburgh Steelers. Yeah. And I went. Wow. Freaks. I go. I would like to have a child with you if you don't mind, mm -hmm. because I want to know what's going. Like no, John, this clearly John a, Jones' this mom has the same a, kind of thing. This was clearly a white family. I'm thinking. This was a very <laughs> white family. This yeah. was a Jewish. They were white and Jewish and very small. No, not Watts. It's definitely the Watts didn't come. Uh, the Watts are. We know the Watts. Wait, you said one's right? on the Bills and one's on the Steelers, there right? You go. See if that's them. That might be the ones. Mm -hmm. um, can't see that's probably them. Unless there's three uh, other that's brothers. That's exactly who that who it is. That's exactly who it is. And I met their mom. And uh, classy, good family, tight family. You could see it. I mean, you met and their, and their girlfriends were the beautiful <laughs> women that were there. And it makes oh, sense. I, I was like, oh, well, of course. Yeah. All, you know, one. Studs. Yeah. Studs. Did anything happen? Not a thing, dude. So I was just, uh, oh, that okay. was the story. But I just thought oh. to myself, mom, what are the chances of, because you know how hard it is to make, what are the chances of having three children? Insane. You know what I mean? And yeah. you get three starters in the NFL? Come on. It's like well, the Watt brothers think so. Not only they, they're not so not only really starters. One is one of the best defense players of all time. Yes, two or three time defense player a year. His little brother should have won it last year. He's the captain stud? of the stud. He's better, I mean, he's the guy now. What position? It's him and Bosa. They're DNs. They're freaks. So they're all giants. Yeah, can the I other brother's the, a fullback. Can, but, can you, know. you bring up JJ Watt's parents so I can see what's going on there? That's just you know, that's nuts. Connie Watt. Oh, the oh the dad is. Uh, Those big. are the brothers. <laughs> Damn! Look at them. <laughs> Those brothers oh, are. The dad is John Candy. So. Well, the dad, <laughs> dad's dad's got. Dad yeah, has well, some meat on him. He hasn't been missing any meals, but mom, well, no, dad, mom, where are they from? Mom's got Wisconsin. a. Wisconsin. By the way, mom's got a strong jaw. Mom is mom is not weak. Mom is very strong. Uh huh. Yeah, mom, well, look at now 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 oh, without mom's a dime. She's very pretty, but also just for a second, it's important. JJ Watt's got a big head. Mom's head is not that much smaller. She's got big bones. <laughs> Look at the dad. But, dad, but daddy, daddy, daddy got a big head. head. With it where he's no top top. Yeah. yeah. Well, dad is every bit of what six four, probably. Yeah, because what? How tall is JJ, JJ Watt? Watt is six five. Maybe? Six five. Yeah. And he's yeah, dad's three hundred pounds. Yeah, dad's uh, dad. Dad needs to wear a mask around town. Well, dad, yeah, dad, dad. You know what I'm saying? Like dad, better not get COVID. Dad, I'm, I'm, dad's. Yeah. Diet is what it is, but but he's clearly got something under there. Big motherfucker. Look at their look at the brothers. Which all three one of is them. The, they're all three playing so in the NFL. The one on the the left next to the big dad. The one on the left uh -huh. plays for the Steelers. Super stud. Jesus. What was uh, And then JJ Watt, obviously one of the best of all time. Yeah. And then the guy on the right, if you're gonna, you know, he's the worst out of three. Okay, but <laughs> he's worst still in the NFL. Three. He's still in the NFL. Who's yeah. he play for? Uh, I think Steelers. So oh, they're both on the Steelers. Yeah. The, the, the so, that's why they thought JJ was going to come to the Steelers way, to play with his brother. By the way, JJ's bigger than all of them. Oh yeah, yeah. beat the shit yeah. out of everybody. JJ's with the Cardinals. Mom, right? look at mom's yeah. wrists. Look at mom's wrists, and look at mom's arms. Mom is a, and she's not heavy. She's she's put together, but she is a. That, the, the genetics are coming from mom. Mom mm. is strong. Oh, dad's enormous too. Dad is a big boy. God, those are some daddy jeans. Those are some daddy jeans. <laughs> He's just living life, man. Dad's. Doing, he's not, dad's doing what he wants. Mm. Whatever the fuck you want. Yes. But, but uh, that's How crazy. Not those are some crazy are genetics. Kids. Oh, wow. Crazy genetics. <laughs> yeah, they're just big kids. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> it's just, you always have to do that. What? Because I know what you're doing. You go, oh, wow. <laughs> so whenever you go, oh, wow. There's a point of view. That's all. And I know what you're thinking and I know what you're looking at. Yeah, it's no. great though, man. Yeah. They it's all awesome. made it. They're beautiful. <clears throat> I mean, that is a... Jay, J yeah, they're cool, man. Jay didn't play Impressive. football, did he? Uh, in high school, he's dude who's like into drugs and like running with the wrong crowd. I don't yeah. know what he does now. It's oh, he was, so crazy. Was, though. <laughs> Genetics. Mom mm -hmm. is... That's a... Whatever's going well, on. Well, there's a weird thing in the NFL have now. More kids. It's like... I forget. It's like one in three all have some connection, family member in professional sports yeah like one in three one yeah. in two it's something nuts yeah that makes sense yeah I, i'm sorry it's just you know you're either built a certain way or what not. it is man yeah, you know, mm. speed and, and size and now did you guys illegally stream the thriller fights 
No, I didn't even have to do that, actually. I just I could watch it on Twitter. <laughs> I watched it on Twitter be because... You're streaming it. You watch a feed on Twitter? No, I mean, I just watched the highlight of them. Oh, getting, you didn't see the fight? Well, they lasted a minute. A minute, yeah. So, so that's all you could see. Yeah. Did you, but did you see Trump's too depressing. Uh, commentating? I didn't, I didn't. Pretty funny. I didn't. It, it was called really Anderson good. Silva, Anderson Silver. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> He's like, I've known these guys for a while. I'm a huge fan. Anderson Silver. <laughs> you know, okay. He's amazing. All right, dude. He's amazing. His son and, didn't really say and much. And we just go, of course you said Silver. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Of course you do. The rest of his commentary was whatever. Yeah, I mean. It was a Trump rally, though. It was? Oh, yeah. Yeah, they were screaming for Trump 2020 oh, or yeah. 2024. Or and whatever. so is every NCAA arena. Like, really? every game just... Fuck Joe Biden. I mean, every single arena. I know. Yeah. I know. College kids are like, fuck Joe yeah. Biden. Like, They're Jesus hilarious. Christ. What, is that in uh, certain, that's in certain states? Every state. It's in every state. It's in, well, football you, fans. You're going to have some group, you know, groups that but come out Football together. fans are football fans. It's mm-hmm. American. They're, they They're Americans. Be, they tend to be heavily American. Oh, yeah. And then when you when you yeah. leave a bunch of American yeah, it gets strands, dicey. it gets a little dicey. People get a little mad. Mm. Dude, I don't think Newsom's gonna get recalled. I know the gap's whining. I've been following it, and they they tried to do one last hail mary, and I guess uh, Newsom's wife has ties to Harvey Weinstein, mm-hmm. and she called that uh, Rose McGowan, you know, who's like the main girl. Yeah, called her to try to like intimidate her. Well, about she tried. Harvey I think Weinstein. they tried to get her the, to drop. The idea it. was to what would it take? How much money do you want yeah. to to drop you? Because they're close story. with the Weinstein's. Yeah, that was the last hurrah. Yeah, yeah, I think um, I think we find out tomorrow the official. Or the, lar- the larger problem is that he's only in. But here's the thing: he's not in that much longer. Right. He only has another what eight months left. I, I no, I think he's got longer than that. Maybe not. He? No more than a year. But he uh, the real the real issue is how many businesses have to leave California before you know. It's, it's a tough place <clears> in <the> business. <throat> so it ends the fourteenth. I think it's on the fourteenth, right? So what's today? Tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow. So, so, today's the thirteenth. Yeah. Yeah, he kind of crept up up there. Mm. Why do they? Did you read why? Um, was it just people didn't really want Larry Elder? I mean, it's a democratic state, man. Yeah. yeah well. What are you gonna do? Mm. Yeah. Now that he's not getting recalled. You know, and the winter's coming. Coat, obviously, winter's the cold coming. picks up. Is he gonna be like, lock back down, everybody? Yeah, uh, that would make me leave. That'd be the one thing. Yeah, I think maybe he's learned his lesson though, locking up and ruin all these small businesses. I think he's learned his lesson that we can't do that again. Well, yeah, I mean, you know, th- if they keep pushing businesses to the brink like that, it, mm-hmm. it, it's just there's like, gonna be nothing left. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, they did have a tax surplus, so they they. They do have a lot of money in the coffers, but yeah. California is a very, very diverse economy. So you can get away with a lot. Yeah, I know. You know, you can get a, you can get away with a fuckload. It's it, gonna get scary. Like it's like we, what we always talk about. Like whatever you think is going on, like like ah, people hate him. You got to look at the large macro perspective. They might hate him, but yeah. they really hate Republicans. Yeah. yeah, They might hate him. They despise Larry Elder. Yeah, or or for so example, if you're picking two poisons. <clears throat> They don't want California to lose the seat mm-hmm. in the Senate and all that stuff, you know. Like, there's so much that goes on if he comes out. They, That's they, all the Democrats probably hate him too, but right. they don't want to lose, you know. The they, House. Had a, they, they had a people talk about this with the vaccine a lot. The people be like, "Vaccine is I know I know four people who've had really bad effects, man. It's fuck." And then then you talk to the people that look at oh, the actual everywhere. that was good, yeah, see, it? there was a lot, was a lot of spit. Yeah, yeah. It got and then over you here. look at well, I want you to catch what I'm have what I have, but yeah. uh-huh. but then you look at the mega data, the metadata of how many how many people have actually taken the vaccine with sure. no side effects, you know, and yeah. then you look at how many people actually took the vaccine and died mm-hmm. versus people who like most of the ICUs, most of the people dead are are not vaccinated. So if you look at that, that stuff, so the, you know you got to be careful with people who come up with like the. You know, they, they use their own personal experience yeah. to project a larger truth. That's their so perspective, make it seem like that's their that's perspective the world. though. Yeah. If they're yeah. around that, you know, that's yeah, all yeah, they know. Yeah. Mm. But you got to look at the data. You got to look at the data. Yeah, but where do you even get real data these days? It's out there, but I know. I yeah, mean, you gotta everybody's really got a dig. fucking story. Yeah. 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 Everybody everybody's got a story. Fox has got their story. CNN's got their story. Mm. Fox is like, you know, we like Trump. And fucking CNN's like, well, well Biden's better than Trump, you know. That's that's in a well now CNN doesn't have like a 
like they can't use the Trump propaganda. Like that was their ratings. Now it's like they're focused on Rogan. Oh yeah, because they need somebody to point a finger at. They That's need right. somebody to give give them ratings because uh-huh. the ratings are dog shit. Uh-huh. So now they're like just at Rogan, whatever he does. Sure. Yeah, sure, exactly. It's so interesting. Really? So fucking weird. Good luck really? with that. Really, like a dude who just interviews very, <laughs> very. You know, when you go after certain people, yeah. you're gonna go after comics or like a comic and a guy who interviews interesting people. That's uh-huh. who you're going after him, dude. I think he should. Uh, why not sue CNN That's for really saying a tough that? One. I mean, you know. That's going to be a tough one. Yeah. Yeah. But but it's true. It's like, find somebody else to go after. Yeah. Horse team. You're not a horse. You're not a cow. Seriously, y'all. Stop it. The, the FDA, FDA wrote, wrote on, on Twitter. Twitter. Well, don't say y'all, you know? Yeah. <laughs> you're not a horse. You're not a cow. Seriously, y'all. Stop it. That's what the FDA wrote on Twitter. How crazy is that? <laughs> I mean... Who's running that? Yeah. Yeah. It's just trying to get to make it young. Yeah. Seriously, counts, y'all, so y'all stop, stop it. it. Tokyo's you should not using use ivermectin yeah. to treat ivermectin to treat or prevent COVID nineteen. Mm-hmm. Work for Rogan. Mm-hmm. It's funny. Wait, man, a, a question about that because I don't know much about that ivermectin or whatever. Yeah, that that pill's not strictly for horses. There's two different. It just it's just a human version. And there's an animal version. I don't okay. clearly I, didn't I don't take know the animal. About it. He's not. He did. no. And if you, you uh, yeah, yeah. Say. One thing to keep in mind about all this shit is mm-hmm. like when the SARS virus came out and killed a lot of people. Yeah, it jumped from a bat to a civic cat to a human. Um, there was uh, there was an American scientist. I think it was a Chinese national, or he was a Chinese American. He had, he was an exchange student, but whatever. But they said, let us study. We want to study the SARS virus. This okay. is way back. This is you know, let us study the virus, the SARS virus, so we can figure out that if there's another SARS outbreak. The problem with that is that the NIH then grants, gives you a bunch of grants to study, or has a, you know, is in collusion with the Wuhan lab that studies viruses, mm-hmm. okay? And it's like, well, let's study this virus so, it, so the next time it comes out, we can treat it. We're prepared. The problem with making virologists that, that success that, or that powerful is that that is when you get game of gain of function research. That is when you get now you take now you got a bunch of bats. Yeah. You, you capture a bunch of bats. You give them a fucking cough, and you know you shoot you, you and you try to you try to make the virus more deadly, more transmissible to humans, so you can study it. Yeah. That would be gain of function. I'm not a scientist, but this is the idea. But the problem is, you got to be really fucking careful with what happens because all science has an agenda. If you're a scientist and you were to say global warming isn't that much of a threat, just say if you said that much. Yeah. It's not that much of a threat, or. Maybe maybe uh, we can innovate our way out of this without legislating our way out of this, and here's why. You would get exactly zero dollars for your grant. You can't so do so that. what happens is, so you're oh. a scientist, so you're a climate scientist or whatever you are, uh-huh. and you say, I need want funding. I, and I got, I got my team. I need funding. Now, now listen, so you go, you know, it's not that bad. All of a sudden, okay, you don't need funding. Now, what are all the other scientists, the groups that are actually looking to get a grant to study climate change, et cetera, Okay. I'm not saying I'm not saying climate change doesn't exist. I'm saying what happens if you're when all the other scientists realize that this other group of scientists is saying uh, it's not that big a threat, or maybe it's not a thing, whatever it is, or we have evidence that it's it's not what we said it was. That is a threat in many ways to the other groups of scientists that are looking to get grants. So everything is political. Everything is political. Uh, you just got to look at yeah. that. I'm not. I don't know the answer, but it was just yeah. somebody was explaining that. I thought it was fucking. It's something to look at in the bigger picture. Yeah, we're already yeah. bored. I, I just bored yeah, that, everybody. That story was so boring. I just bored everybody. <laughs> and it wasn't your story either, so it's like the holes in it were one just my story. insane. I was trying to bank off of it. I was yeah, like, I got, oh, you're like I so if you don't believe in global... <laughs> I got bored. You don't, and I'm not even saying that, but if I you don't like global this. warming, and then, you know, for you, example... You're going to want money. <laughs> and then look... The, the, I was like, oh my God. How I, got I, bored. I got a little bored. I started staring at chin your entire... I was like... Now, now you're, even with all that caffeine, <laughs> I actually brought you down. You know, so caffeine. funny. You didn't even look his way. You just stayed with Dude, me. Dude, because there's you really take it. <laughs> no. no, because the problem is. Chappelle's like, yeah, okay, I'm there. There's Global certain, warming. There are certain Might words. be an issue. There are certain words. I'm already tired. Like you said to me, you know, climate change. I'm already like, ah, or, you, or, or how about this? The worst is this. My Worse favorite is this. part is Brian goes, I'm not a scientist. I know. I'm like, ah, oh. oh, fuck, dude. I I know. Know. This whole time, I thought you were a legit scientist. I thought you were a scientist, not just a podcast. 
Or, or, or how about this? The wor- but the worst is the regurgitated <laughs> story from somebody who probably knows what they're talking about, yeah. and then you're telling us. And I, and I was, I was trying to remember. And then it. it's like all choppy. I you chopped know? it up. Yeah. There's nothing worse than a story about Columbus Jason, and then I chop it up. Yeah. <laughs> a second hand. Or how about this? That the second minute I heard this, my story? friend, my friend goes, you know, <laughs> you were talking. He goes, campaign. <laughs> he goes. Campaign finance reform. I mean, that's the, and I, I'm already asleep. I'm already like, holy fuck. Holy fuck. I'm, I'm sorry already. I entertained that one. I'm sorry. But I just, uh, I somebody's was curious. I thought he had something. You got to add something. You got to add, somebody's got to die. Something's got to happen. Jim, what'd you do this weekend? Get me out of here. What'd you do this weekend? Watch this. This is going to be. I know. You think you're going to get he out? Said, get me you out of here. Get you out of you the asked Chin what the fuck he did. You went, you did, you're so desperate to get out of this. Chin's going like, Chin. Chin's going like this. Uh, <laughs> What did I do? <laughs> what uh, the fuck? You know, me and my girl chilled. Oh, we had Korean barbecue one night and then uh, went on a. There it is. That's the answer. He's like, God, I, I don't know. Come back to went me. Went on a That's food me. tour. <laughs> What'd you do? My story uh, was well. that boring. <laughs> <laughs> I made you ask Jim. I mostly just rested, but my girl did spend. <laughs> My girl just spent the weekend with me. The boringest life in the world. And then then my my cousin and my brother came over. We had a little birthday dinner for her birthday. Birthday brunch for my cousin's kid. Ethan turned four. And then then went to the Bull and Butterfly here. uh, What is it? What is that? The Bull and Butterfly is a restaurant right where our old studio used to be on Jefferson. Oh, okay. Across the street. Marina Del Rey? Yeah. How was it? Is it good? It's pretty good. It's called Bull and Butterfly. They're known for their steaks, yeah. Oh, it's like a steakhouse? Yeah. Oh, damn. It was good? Yeah, it's pretty good. Pretty good. Mm-hmm. Hey, there we go. Pretty good. Oh, would, yeah. you, would you have a fucking filet? We had uh, some sort of, was it filet mignon? Or it was a sirloin. It was a sirloin. Be more specific. <laughs> but what? Be more specific. <laughs> just add. Try it out. Then it's nothing in line. I don't want to go to that restaurant now. <laughs> I, I, a nice little sauce. A <laughs> just lie to me, please. There's like hey, a nice little sauce. Your, uh, homie took us to, was dope. I know, but you know the name of it? I don't know the name of it. Yeah. That, Orchid, or, uh, Orchid. Kitchen. Or, yeah, or, yeah, orchid, orchid kitchen. Yeah. I, I want to tell a story, but I don't want. I don't want to put the guy on. Do blast. it. <laughs> this, uh, he's a good guy. Now, did you tell he's him to move guy. to L.A.? Some people just tend to be a little bit under. Hey, he told me to move to L.A. I know. That's what he tells everybody to. No, you're different, Chappelle. I felt it when he said it. You're different. I don't tell anyone to do stand up. I've told exactly two people in my life to do stand up. Mm-hmm. More. More. Who? <laughs> <laughs> That I'm tick, sitting here believing TikToker, him. you didn't know. You said do funny, stand up. Funny kid. That'd be three. That, that's different, though. I don't know him. I, I mean, know. That's what's but, weird. But but I but I I don't tell anybody to do stand up. <laughs> Even you. Remember when you said I was just pretend? I was like, yeah. oh, you know, it, it wasn't that yeah. I didn't think. It's just it's just such a long road mm-hmm. and a bit. Yeah. Um. But uh, I felt you were being honest with you. I was. I said, come to L.A. You that that guy is not ready for L.A. He would get. Did swallowed. you tell him that? No, but I tried to kind of ask him to set. I was like, "What are your goals?" Jump like, up up a your, buffalo you know, wing place in Buffalo. Yeah, that's a good market. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Open up a buffalo wing. It's all thanks for <laughs> yeah. nothing, dude. There's Open up a food truck. Seventy buffalo. Some like shots there. buffalo or something like that. Who? You know? Now they'll drink. You know what I mean? The one thing about cold water. <laughs> 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 buffalo wings. <laughs> What was that? <laughs> 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 I saw that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wah, wah, wah. He goes, oh, <laughs> gun no, hung, 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 not wah, wah, wah. I watched that. It's great. You crying? God, is he nuts? All right, Jim, what do you got? <laughs> you know what? One thing I think we all realize is we love restaurants. During this pandemic and all this stuff, we realize how much we depend on restaurants. You know who's giving back to restaurants? Grubhub. Grubhub is launching their new campaign we serve restaurants grubhub loves restaurants like we love restaurants from the food to the passion termination of the people behind them they know that restaurants reputations matter and they'll be damned if that reputation suffers because of them all right because good food deserves good service delivered fast fresh exactly how the restaurants intend it to be all right I love restaurants and that's why I use grubhub so grubhub works hard to serve the restaurants and they want the restaurant's food to come exactly how they mean for it to come. Maybe you're a gamer. Maybe you're a podcaster. Maybe you're a family dude. Maybe you're a stay-at-home dad. You don't have time to cook and do all this stuff. Grubhub got you covered, man. And today, they're, they're getting together Panera. Today, Grubhub's doing a little extra to serve Panera. Get a free delivery perk on your first order from Panera. Panera bread. They got great stuff. Sandwiches, whatever you want, man. Sounds tasty. Cool. You can uh, get free delivery on your order from Panera, $15 or more. Order through the Grubhub app or online. Grubhub, we serve restaurants. Next week, September 24th and 25th, I'm in San Antonio, Texas. 
Texas Bud Light Event Center. It's going down one show Friday, one show Saturday. Biggest shows ever for your boy. And I'm bringing a crew with me, man. I got Derek Post in. That's right. Derek Poston's back. We got David Lucas and Chappelle Backflip Lacey and myself will all be in San Antonio, Texas on the 24th, 25th, one show Friday, one show Saturday. Get your tickets right now. And then Denver, Colorado Comedy Works, September 30th through October 2nd. That's the Comedy Works downtown Denver. Mama, I'm coming home. Then Las Vegas, Nevada is October 7th through the 9th. Brea, California is October 15th through the 17th. Get your tickets at FATKZ.com. <laughs> he said, wow, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. No, hung, wow. hung. I saw that. Wang, 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 wang. No, hung, hung. Hung, hung, hung. 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 There you go. You said, wow, wow. And that whack went hung. goes, God, I'm going to gun you shoot. <laughs> <laughs> hung, 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 hung. That was, that was wild. Classic. He got up and, like, <laughs> classic. Oh, All right. Have you seen this officer that looks just like The Rock? Yeah. From Alabama? I have not. Uh, this is actually the police officer right here. Holy shit. No, it's not. Yes, it is. That, that's him. There's no way that's the cop. Eric Fields. Yeah. But this is just the perfect angle and everything. Because the other wow. pictures don't look they so don't much look like him. as much like Yeah, but him, this yeah. one looks just like The Rock. That's crazy. Is there another he picture? The yeah. And he's big, Google too. Is he Samoan? He's a big dude. And uh, TJ Watt's dad's driving the car. <laughs> 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 a younger version. <laughs> Shave that mustache. Got a skin tight. And then didn't The I'll Rock reach out to him like he wants to get drinks with him or something like that? I didn't see that part. That's in there. Holy Different shit. angle. Here Wait. you can say you can see how he kind of looks like him, but not really. Not that really right there. Sucks, I think the only thing him and the Rock have in common are they're both on steroids. <laughs> uh, yeah, this guy's you definitely don't know huge that for sure, dude. Oh yeah, that dude's all natty. Oh, yeah. I don't know, guys. He's he might be all natty. And that's the Rock there. Yeah. The, the I love how everybody wants to take pictures with him. Yeah, oh, I bet he's a fucking hit yeah. in Alabama. That's that's amazing. God, he's pretty damn close. Like, yeah. He kind of truck. like once the. Once the but that one on the truck, he looks like yeah, go, yeah. But, but he's also tall and like big, me. tall, yeah. big. And his yeah. face sort of matches. A little bit, huh? Pretty crazy. Yeah, rocks are stuck. And he's big. Mm -hmm. He's a big dude. What would you say the rock is? What kind of gear is he running? Uh, name a steroid. Is that true? I'm, I'm, what do you think, dude? Yeah, I think he's. I thought you just have to like narrow it down to one. No, I don't think. I don't so. know much he's about the whole it. gamut. Trumbalol and all that. Trumbalol. Deca anabol. I don't know. Anavar. I guess he's either got way it. works his ass. Bone To be that shredded at 53 or whatever he yes. is. What'd you say? You want Anavar? No, I don't want no Anavar. I don't want nothing. He can't even handle a fucking espresso. Yeah, my shot. fucking teeth are chattering still. <laughs> Would it be weird if I said, can I get a decaf? No, people do it all the time. It okay. makes no sense to me, but people do it all the time. Well, I like the taste. There you go. Hmm. There's still caffeine and decaf, though. <laughs> get a nice green tea. Those are nice. <laughs> no. This has been <laughs> Shouldn't drink his seltzer. <laughs> I do. I don't want to do his. The way he said that. You're hard good. seltzers. Can the truly was nice, right? How's your it neck? Nice. It's exactly the same. It is? Yeah. And I shout out to like the TFAK Army. They, a ton of them messaged me different things to do. Chiropractor. Love it help, huh? I mean, I'm, I don't really trust going to a chiropractor for this. That's I want to get an MRI. That's what I want. I just want to get an MRI. Get an MRI. Get an MRI. Yeah. Get an MRI. And don't wrestle without warming up. Yeah. Ever again. I know. I know and now. don't wrestle them specifically. Not the short kings, never Not again. The short kings. So this is Vin Diesel. All right. Ozzy Jack. Shirtless on a luxury yacht. Getting it. Ooh. Oh. I would never know. I would have never known because he always wears a you know a tank top. Yeah. So his arms are still buff looking, but I guess he's just a little bit. Bro, that's me. Well, he's a tummy. Yeah, very similar to oh, they, Yeah. Body. That's what will happen. Is to it? Tell me if you're not careful as you get if older. You don't, ooh. No. He's still buff though. I still got a chance. I need, to, I need to. I'm act pretty now. sure Fifty Cent clowned on him too. Did he? Yeah. Damn, that's of course. Fifty cents all over the place now. That's a big. That's a lot of. Food. Yeah. But that picture is the most. Damn. Yeah. That, well, he's, his body. His he looks bloated. As shit, man. No, he looks fat. Oh my gosh, he's yeah. rich as that, yeah, that's shit, bad. too, dude. Yeah, he looks. So he's on a yacht. Yeah. You know, doesn't give a fuck. He'll lose it in a heartbeat, though. Yeah. He could get ready for Fast and Furious seventeen or whatever. Like yeah. Well, how, how many are there? They have nine right now. They have nine. Yeah. They're planning for ten X or whatever. Yeah. Oh yeah. shit. Right. It's make it makes money. I don't know how, but it makes money. I mean, oh, people, people love it. I mean, people go people crazy. Love it. Yeah. China it used to be huge. so good, though. And he yeah. owns like 50% of it. He makes so much money off those. Mm. And the director is Asian. Oh, wow. Yeah. Doesn't Tom Justin Cruise Lin. own Mission Impossible? Ooh, I would yeah, doubt James it. Wong, no? I thought he oh, did. Justin Lin? It's been around oh, forever. Mm -hmm. okay. He might, though. Yeah, All right, so this is Theo posting him fishing. Oh, I saw this. This is actually pretty good. He literally caught it after baiting. So. Yeah. 
I'll show you this first. Think but there's something quick. funny about what Theo does here. We caught our bait right here. These are minnows that we caught with a net in the in the in the creek out here. <laughs> and we save them here in this minnow bucket. And then I want to take this little bad baby and put it right in the seam right there where that water's coming off of this river, this little creek. Catches one right away. Oh. Yeah. But look how he does the reel too. You know how fish you know how to fish a spinning rod, right? Yeah. <laughs> look how you <laughs> <laughs> That'd be fun to swim in. That's a super nice creek or river. Yeah, it is. Where is that? I don't know. Nashville. Oh, Nashville. Damn. Watch him. Oh, again. bam. He already Look got one. Him. But he's, he's. Oh, damn. He's holding it upside down, the reel. Oh. 100% yeah. mother nature right here. 100% <laughs> mother nature. Mother nature. These are all natural fish. No preservatives. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Look at that. Oh. Yeah, that's a decent smallmouth. Hey. I'm upstairs, baby. <laughs> I'm upstairs. <laughs> what is that? Because <laughs> that river. Because he's it's on, like on a cliff. Yeah, he's on top. Now what do I do? Now what do I do? <laughs> Give him a little hug there and see if you can get him. Watch what he says after this. Uh, yeah, does it catch and release Ooh, or can he eat that? Up. You can eat it. He's fired up, dude. He probably. <laughs> scared of him. Get in there. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> Look at him. Let's go, boy. I'm upstairs. Look, he got that little one on an Uber like he's driving Uber. <laughs> Uber XL, that little one trying to sneak a ride, baby. <laughs> you got to so be hungry. Funny. If you you bite, you don't even eat the food. You just get fork only. <laughs> <laughs> That's fork what cracked me up. Fork he's only. Funny. He's funny. He always he's thinks. Oh, he's so fucking it's, funny. It's uh, fucking organic. It's fork the only. Funniest human <laughs> beings of all He's time. Oh, and then God. someone tagged, a bunch of people tagged. That new friend. That friend. Because <laughs> that's not how you're supposed to, <laughs> supposed to un- You're supposed to do this. Yeah, it's underneath supposed to be yeah. down. Yeah. So that, that, that big that part, part is supposed to be. at the bottom. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. You're, you're, to- you're holding it up. So yeah. I wouldn't know that. <laughs> really? Uh, yeah. I would, you yeah. would if it's in your hand. Yeah, you're not going to do that. You're doing it this way. You're doing it this way. That's so. That's from Wrestler Dad 247 that tagged us. That's hilarious. Oh. <laughs> this one, I know a bunch of people tagged as well. I guess they. Oh, I see this shit. It's supposed to be Brandon. Big. Well, big boy. Why did now he that let makes go? me nervous? Why did he let go? He was like trying to do a hand, trick. Hands free one. Oh, oh, ah, <laughs> dad. Oh, oh no, fuck, dude. But he's good. Yeah, I'll get you, dead. I'm scared. I'll get you. Look at him. <laughs> God, those shots were worth it. <laughs> Watch Lord, the em- look at the impact. Why would he let go? I don't know. I think he was just trying to do a trick. Yeah, trick. Yeah. Look All at right. the rear shock. Oh, oh damn. damn. Uh, ah. Oh, right on the old. All hand. that yeah. ass. I know. That's going to leave a Underwear big old just hanging red, out. red shitter mark. Mm. Uh-huh. And this one as well for that Yellowstone prequel, they're having Billy Bob Thornton join. Ooh. Holy oh, shit. Oh, shit. God, that's going to be good. Started yeah. watching it. Uh, you like Yellowstone? it? It's great, yeah. right? Don't say anything. Damn prequel, man. That's nuts. I just got to get past the first episode. <laughs> yeah, yeah, get to Billy it. Billy Bob yeah, Thornton. Yeah. He looks like he's had his face tightened a little bit. He looks good. He always yeah. looks a little different. Yeah, looks like he's uh, had some stuff. Good fucking actor. Talented. Yep, he one of the best. Angelina Jolie were like wearing yep. each other's blood around yeah, their neck. Yeah, I was working yeah. with them. Yeah. Yeah. They did what? They were like vials of blood. Oh, yeah. I, I, was, I worked with him. He was, he's a great guy, man. Yeah. Great guy. Really, really cool. Oh, for uh, is he sober now? What was it Bad Santa? Yep. Is he sober now? Friends in Bad Santa. I I Santa? Look, at, I look at her Billy Bob tattoo with wow. a dragon, dude. Wow. <laughs> imagine Damn. convincing Angelina Jolie to get a Billy Bob she's, tattoo she's, with a dragon. She was so beyond. Was her dad John Voight? God. You know those lips her are dad. real, by the way. Her, oh, yeah. her, da- are her dad's John Voight, yeah. right? Yes. Yeah. She she's so special. Dude, uh, she went from that to fucking Brad Pitt, dude. Yeah, well, when you're when you're Angelina Jolie, you can you can have Vladimir Putin or anybody else you want. I mean, yeah, she's such a yeah. She's so talented. She was super hot. Yeah, she's perfect. I saw, I remember He's super talented. Too. I mm-hmm. I met her before she was famous on the set of Oz when she was just she showed up. And she was dating Chuck Zito. I remember just looking. She at was her. dating Chuck Zito, mm-hmm. or at least she oh, came Zito. to meet him and left on his motorcycle. Oh wow! Jumped on the back. 
He wrote away. They were like, no, 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 no. Was Hell's Angels, so, you know. But uh, that's Chuck Zito. Yeah, yeah man. Oh, there you go. He's, he was in Sons of Anarchy too. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Stuff. He had a role in there. Yeah. It's kind of his life. Yeah. But uh, mm. did he dye cool. his hair? She was so beautiful. Just a little bit. Yeah. Just a tad. All right. So we we had this on below the belt, but I wanted to get your guys' take as well. This transgender fighter. You got to show Brian McLaughlin. before and after. Oh yeah. So let, let me let me paint it for Brian. Was a male, transitioned to female, fought another real female mm-hmm. inside a steel cage. I want you to see the before picture of what she looked like. Okay. Chin. Do you, do you, Here, do you that's work. Jake talking about her as well. Jake. There you go. <gasps> Crazy, huh? Okay, now hold on. i to just take a second here. Mm-hmm. She was also an army ranger. That's so, what he so. found out. I didn't. Shit. I had no idea. She what is that? Army, army ranger? ranger? So you're talking about that guy was an army ranger, very strong, the ranger athletic, just in the army. Well, I mean, don't can try. take a lot of punishment if you're a ranger. That's no joke. And uh, and and they're letting Holy that shit. they're letting that that person fight women. Women. Think, think of the advantages that, that she person has. Fight biological women. But she should be able to fight, but other transgender or men. Yeah, that's right. I but not a, a normal little female girl like that ain't right. Fuck. Man. It's just the the, the so advantages brave of that her she has to transition, then live her dream of beating up women. That's what Jake said. I mean, I, yeah, think, it's, I think it's kind of appropriate, isn't it? I, I don't know. Th- that's him on the uh, on the left, yeah. I, I, that Jake other Shields. picture that, that's okay. Jake Shields on the left, dude. Oh, okay. Yeah. Is he retired or he just hasn't fought? He's, re- he's, he's retired. retired. He does jujitsu. Oh, mm-hmm. the, oh, he tweeted about this. Yeah, Jake's the a woman. great dude. Man. He's a great dude. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. Guy. But but I mean, uh, so transgender brutal. MMA fighter who used to be in U.S. Army Special Forces. Oh, <laughs> yeah, you're so, so. I mean, it'd be tough for a dude to beat her up. I agree. An Army Ranger, you know the Special Forces mental capacity that that yeah. d- girl has. It's insane. And the advantages he has over some girl who's well, what are they probably one and oh, two yeah, and oh, also oh like and bone structure. Know. Also, like well, first look on the left there, he'd beat everybody in this room, including me. That's right. That's right. That's a rough motherfucker. Right yeah. There. So this is her statement because she's getting a lot of, you know, people reacting to this. What'd she say? Uh, right good here. morning, friends, supporters, and others. I'm getting a lot of variation. The same nasty message called me a cheater like I didn't just get beat on, on for a round and a half. Y'all need to show some respect and take certain trolling somewhere else. She almost finished me more than once. On You might just be a bad fighter. Uh, on scorecard, she definitely won the first round. This is the only post I'll make about this. Transphobes are just making me my block and stronger. That's it's not being a transphobe either. It's just. It's not about being a transphobe. Yeah, it's just. I'm, to, no, to me, it's just about to me, I'm, I, Dude, I'm all. Uh, I support transgender yeah. and all that stuff. They should be able to compete in Olympics, in MMA, in boxing, but mm-hmm. not against. Biological. That's biological. where it gets biological. tricky. Yeah, that's yeah, where it gets a little too it's tricky. It's not tricky. It's just like they're, it's not. It's not fair. I know. In a lot of instances, it's not fair for sure. And so, mm-hmm. so just to me, this is dangerous. Yeah. I think this is dangerous for for other women. I I, I don't know. I mean. And it has nothing to do with being a transphobe. Mm-hmm. I don't. I, if you want to be transgender, then it's kind of actually cool that this hyper male felt like a woman did this. That's fine. Yeah. Do that, okay? But fighting other women, come on. That girl's mm-hmm. in such a disadvantage for so. But many not reasons. only that, as you know, if 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 that woman is fighting him and taking taking major damage, it can also shorten her career. It sounds also, like she got her ass whooped for a little bit. And then yeah. She's saying that she was Who's, who's the girl she time. fought? This girl right here. Oh, I'll show you. Oh, yeah, it's a... I mean, I, I'm surprised. I didn't know that the commission allowed it, so I, I don't know. That girl fought a fucking special forces transgender girl. It's yeah, tough, so man. that goes on a record now? I mean... And, and, and when, when, when she was in special forces, was jacked to the gills. Right. Is there any videos of the fight anyway? Mm. I'm sure on YouTube. Yeah, let's 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 look it up. Let's Jim. Look it up. Right. If you type in that, the, the, the McLaughlin that transgender girl's name, you're gonna find it. There you go. Yeah. Fight. Full fight. How long? Ooh, 29. thirty minutes. Back here on Combate Global with. Keep going with that. Head down, which is very, very damn. Very, that girl's very big. It's not a, it's not a, a yeah, very good the one in black, the, the, I mean, the one who was born a female is big, yeah. And and uh, go there for, yeah, okay, well, keep, hold on. and she is taking a lot of estrogen. That's, that's a difficult thing for us. That's so interesting. Fighter. It's yeah. amazing what technology can do, right. Yeah, I'm still frustrating. It blows my mind every time how they can Maybe transition. Now that I'm watching this, 
the short now that I'm watching this, I might, I might start. I mean, Malafa not looking like the stronger fighter and taking a ton of punishment coming in. Yeah, it's just her bones are denser, her bo her bone structure, her ligaments are stronger. Yes. The training that she's gone through in the special reaction forces. Reaction time, reaction time too for men is a little bit better than women. Their eyes, the reaction time is better, so mm -hmm. it's an advantage. Tomorrow is September 11th. Yes. We're actually uh, about 25 minutes from September 11th. Okay. Yeah. That's it. But she finishes the other girl with a choke. We're with a choke. choke. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I mean, here we are. Right here. Yeah. Are we finished? Okay. Mm. Man for, um, Anyways. Interesting. Both clearly new to the sport. Seems like it. Yeah. That's yeah, dicey, right? It's dicey. They should it's definitely be able to compete and live their dreams. It's just tough when they're going against biological women. It'd be great if there was a transgender Would league or something. The UFC would. Is there is there a woman that transitioned into a man that is trying to I don't to think that's dudes? ever been done. What's that? A woman oh, that transmissions to a man. I don't think that's ever been done in fights. Fighting in now. Do you know that but, it's, but, you know, it's but you know what, rare? You know what would happen? You know what would happen? The the mat, They would never get commissioned if a female wanted to transition to a boy and fight in the UFC. Oh my God. No commission would ever grant that. That's right. But then we're cool with a man transitioning to a woman be like, well... So you know, it's a kind so of a double you know, it standard. It was exceedingly rare until all this trans movement happened. It was exceedingly rare for a a woman to transition into a man. Mm -hmm. It was almost always a man and into a woman. A woman. Yeah. If you look at the literature behind yeah. it, and then and then what's interesting is that now that it's become such a thing, there are some places where thirty percent of the girls in certain classrooms identify as trans. Now it's like this social contagion. Yeah, thing. yeah. it's probably should, it's not, probably not that high. But the good thing is with science and technology yeah. stuff, they can finally come out and there's at least some support. When sure. Back in the day, it was zero. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was hell for, for What me. else you got, Jen? This is a good news one. Uh, Justin Wren, your guys' friend. Our friend. He, I guess for the fight for the forgotten, he found some guy that was like, that worked in uh, Wall Street. Then COVID happened, lost his job, lost his, I guess his girl or whatever. And then he got robbed on a subway. God, duh. Yeah. All on the same day? No, no I'm not sure. The same day. <laughs> During that time. Okay. Yeah. And then someone with a bat, like seven, seven people. <gasps> Even though they took his money and everything, they hit him in the head or face. Worst day ever. Like three times, and he lost nine teeth. Holy Fuck. shit. Yeah. So in New York? I, yeah, Subway. I think New York. Jesus Christ. Oh, Wall Street, yes, yeah, so New York. Oh, yeah, Wall Street. And so Justin ran, and I guess the fight, fight for the forgotten, they were able to, to get all his brand new teeth. Damn. And oh. then you can see him like reacting here. Expensive too. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I remember hearing the prices. And he told me the day before, the day I met you, he was hired by Dr. Frank, Dave. Frank at Walden Dentistry, and he said, keep your eyes, your ears open for somebody. Why are all their shirts off? That's They're probably working out in the park. So that I can give them new teeth and a new smile. <laughs> <laughs> what a great guy. So let me show you what he looked yeah. like. Look at that. Oh, so that's what happened. Yeah, he was, he was on on drugs and stuff. Is that what happened? I think he might have yeah. fallen down that path. Yeah, because everything yeah. was falling apart. He met his friend and chin. <laughs> Ten? What? <laughs> keep, keep it cool, man. Keep it cool. He looks great now. Yeah, he looks great. He looks wonderful. Hold on. Yeah. You know, man. What? You could be. A I didn't do anything. More fucking compassionate. I'm super. I no, because you know what I see every time you do. This is what he does. He goes like this. His well, fingers, I wasn't fucking ready. Your dude, fingers I, point at you go like well, this. And you start going, oh. Well, the story was the he guy lost his job, got hit in the face with a bat. I'm like, God, that's terrible. And then you bring him up, and, I mean, and you clearly not. You, you could have been like, warning. dude, he also did some drugs, so his teeth are all fucked up. Yeah, you know? there was. It was there tough was times, that. man. It's tough times. Who knows the what he had to do? Toughest times. Dude. Yeah, and those teeth may not have come out from a bat. They may have come out from meth. Maybe a little bit of both. Was this your opener in Buffalo, or? <laughs> now listen up. That <laughs> I don't want to say that. Go to the next picture, Jim. Well, no, yeah, I think the tough. next one shows how, him. How good of a person is Justin Wren, dude? He's, he's, a, he's the best. So what, this is when he was on Wall Street and stuff? Yeah, yeah. yeah so that was that before. So his teeth are even yeah. better now. Damn. He walked to Brooklyn Bridge hey. and called quits hey. oh, to jump off. Yeah. Hey, yeah, it's tough. Oh, shit. He got oh, jumped then, Oh, here's why their shirt's off. Uh, tomorrow we fly to Manhattan. Tuesday together we do the same walk to Brooklyn Bridge. 101 blocks. It's not close. Instead of feeling hopeless, I know it will be hope-filled. Instead of him listening to a podcast of me talking to Joe Rogan, we will be talking together. 
instead of him to sign against suicide because of my story, we'll re- re- rewrite our stories together. We're going to speak about life, life we lived. Wow. Life well That's lived, amazing. A life of love and a life wow. So he was suicidal. Yeah, there you go. That's right. great, man. That's so cool. Justin Redden's just a... He's, he's an angel. Oh. He's, he's better gonna, than he's, he's better than all to heaven before anybody here. Yep. When mm-hmm. he sees those teeth, he didn't go. Oh wow! And then he, he can vouch that. for me and get me in. Yeah. Well, that's so cool, man. Oh, that poor guy. Oh fuck. That's pretty amazing. Uh, yeah. I love it. Right. So he's looking at the picture of what his teeth actually look like. He's looking at the, the picture we saw. The before and after. Nice. Oh, Damn. Nice. Wait. So that that's the mock up. Or that's what, no, that's what they did right there. I, I think. think they already did it, but he hasn't seen it in the mirror yet or I don't something think like that. Seen it oh, yeah. No. <laughs> this is like the reveal for him. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's a reveal. Wow. Get this out of here and only look at the eyes. The eyes tell whether or not it's an awesome smile. When you're confident with your smile, look at your eyes. Yeah. Wow, the eyes are even different. Yep. What, what Brian? <laughs> What are you laughing at? Brian? No, what now? Shit. No, no, this is a great no, story. I know. Same. That's all. I just don't see. They're that not thing. the same though, because on the left, he's different clearly on, Yeah, life. on the left, he's like a. No. It's like a great white shark guy. Like that's like <laughs> oh, he's like shit. dead behind. No, I'm, I'm. I'm not even trying to be funny. It's like he's <laughs> right. When you're doing drugs, man, yeah, your right. eyes yeah. die too. And now that- <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What the? Fuck? Your eyes die too. You know what I'm saying? Like you, they're just checked out. And then on the right, he clearly got his shit together. And look out. The eyes are the window to your soul. <laughs> <laughs> That's my time. It's also like better lighting, better the portrait, bottom everything too. The bottom bottom line, line, he got his, he got his teeth room, fixed. Everybody in, room, in this room is a piece of shit. <laughs> and none of us do anything for anyone. <laughs> and, and then you got Justin, Justin yeah, easy. doing this stuff for people. Oh, dude, he's such a good person. Yeah. Yeah. Brendan's looking at pictures going, oh. <laughs> Chin to, oh. You do this. Well, I thought, I if thought. You ever, know, if you ever know when Brendan is judging the shit out of you, he'll be doing this with his. <laughs> like a villain. Silent. Like a villain. You know how like, like, like in the Elizabethan, Elizabethan times, she'd be like, oh, the people would starfish yeah. their chest mm-hmm. like, oh my. Brendan actually does a version of that, like but he villain. goes, ooh, when he does this, yeah. Well, I wasn't ready. I thought he got hit in the face with a bat, and I thought they were going to show that. Yes. You thought but you were going to see just Chin no was team. like, yeah, he fell in hard times and became addicted to meth. Yes, that's you know? not and You didn't mention the bat. suicide part, too. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't want to be too more down. down you know? And you yeah. said he got hit three times with a bat, yeah. and I think you made that story up. I don't think <laughs> you made that story <laughs> up. That, that story was not in there, Chin. Where it did is. you read that at? It is, it is, it is. Not on that poster, was it? Hold on. Yeah. The only thing is said he got fell into some drugs. And at this point in time, I want... Yeah. Hold on, here it goes. Uh, so relationship, he had lots of love. He, he relapsed on drugs. He ended up homeless. He was robbed and assaulted in subway station. He's an ICU. He gave his money to the gang of seven people. Then he saw a cinch smile on the guy with a baseball bat. They beat him anyways. At no point does it... Oh, here we go. Yeah. It says, I've seen the report. Chris was in the ICU for uh, a while. He said three to four swings to his head, face, and mouth. The metal bat, metal bat sounded like a t- T-ball, ping. Oh, T-ball ping. Fuck. He had TBI. His mother was told by the doctors, we don't think he's going to make it. He lost nine teeth that day with many others broken Jesus and damaged. Christ. Yeah, terrible. But, but I think it's a combination of the drugs, like the meth, and getting hit in the face with a bat. I think they kind of don't talk about that. Well, I'm guessing they don't want to. Yeah. He's, he's, so yeah, when you're that down he's on had your some luck, very it's tough a great. Times. I mean, we're nitpicking here. Yeah. Well, look at him. Yeah, look at him now. He's good. Justin Wren's a good guy, man. He's good. He's, he's the best. Ways to go. <laughs> but his face is. His Justin face Wren looks very thin too. He looks. He lost a lot of weight. Yeah. Yeah. He looks like. Uh, he's really such good. a good person, man. Good for him. You trained with him, right? Oh yeah, long yeah. time. Was he yeah. a Was he a, a pedigreed wrestler? Yeah, all American Greco. Oh wow, stud. But then he had issues. Oh yeah, drugs. Yeah. Oh, big time. Yeah. Yeah. No, he's doing the. But Lord's. but he's like yeah he's he talks about a sobriety yeah, he's right sober. yeah he's doing the Lord's work yeah. All right, here's some of cats. Chin, I mean Jesus right. Christ, Chin did not alert us to that picture, did he? He didn't. Alert he us. didn't do it to, for the Navy Seal or the Army Ranger either. He's like yeah, look, I'm like dude, that <laughs> the fuck, <laughs> that Army Ranger. Yeah. We need real reactions. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I like that. Man. <laughs> I like that. All right, so this is uh, let's see. Ooh, a but bunch of dookie came out. <laughs> oh no! Fans recording a video of a pipe rupture oh, during oh, the Washington no. versus Chargers football game. Oh, oh that's dude. a problem. It's bad enough you're at a Washington I, game. You want to see me get squeamish? Oh! 
<laughs> I bet that stung, whoever got that first like, hit, man. I know they, they're probably like, what the fuck? Yeah, and it's just see brown shit on the Dude, I, I'm so squeamish to that shit. Literally. Uh-uh. I will be. I would be so far away from that shit, dude. That, that, that that's all the 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 waste oh my flowing God. out. God, I can't handle that. All the shit particles. That shits people take at football oh games. Oh my God. Ugh. That's that's shit from everywhere. Yeah, that's, that's gross. That's, that's the pissed. that's the that's, shit of many of many states. That's pee pee so, too, baby. Yes. Oof. Many many counties. Uh, you could catch anything from anywhere. Whoa. Uh, no verdict. Split verdict. Oh, uh, maybe it's just water. But it was all dirty looking. It was all. Mm. Brown. Yeah, that was piss. Yeah, I'm not taking chances. Yeah, I'm not water. buying I'm that. Fucking right. Yeah, fresh water flowing wow. in the stadium. Most felt it was just water. Yeah. Oh, I want a FedEx veteran. Did you see that cat oh, that God. fell? Oh, there. I love there the college kids that grab it and hold him up like Simba, and he's like just freaking the out. Fuck out of him. <laughs> yeah, man. They're all holding him. He's just freaking the. Fuck My out. girlfriend and I, she, we, we rescued a cat, and she picked it up and wouldn't let it go. That thing tore her up. On, I'm talking about her face and her hands, and I, she's. It's so when I kind of fell a little bit in love with her. She wouldn't let it go. She fucking just took it and smiled through the whole thing. She's bleeding everywhere, for real. And she, the guy, we get in touch with the fucking guy because she's trying to read the tag. Guy pulls up in a Prius, doesn't even thank us. He goes, yeah, he wanders. Well, my girl's got cat scratch fever now, you fucking... Yeah. But there I was mean, just a cat scratch. walking around? Yes. And we thought See, it was lost. I know. It's a cat. I know. <laughs> Fuck I'm with cat. the guy, but like, hey, fuck face. I would, <laughs> my cat. I would be too. You, you're lucky it wasn't meaner. I'd be like, hey, idiot. It shredded her up. Like, I, when you see what a little cat yeah, but a lot of them, yeah, he probably, he's Bro, probably is an outside cat. Yeah, yeah man. The fuck out of her. But, hey, but you know what? I know. That's he, what said, you this, get. he said, this is when I fell in love with We were her. trying. <laughs> <I was laughs> she saying, didn't put it. We're trying. Why do I think a cat? Like, what the? Are you out of your mind? Yeah. <laughs> it's a cat walking the street. We're That's trying. not our cat. Trying to be nice. Trying to be But how stupid is that? Yeah. A bit stupid. How about this? Yesterday? He's all, that's the day. Yesterday. I fell in love. love. Yep. I hear that. I'm like, red flag. <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday, I fucking go to Costco, buy myself a large screen TV, get out to the truck, and it doesn't fit in the back of the of my girl's SUV. It won't fit in the back. You may put the seats it's down? It's a smaller SUV, so it doesn't fit through the oh, hole. Oh, yeah. yeah. Can't fit in. Yeah. So now now I'm, I'm all, I'm, I'm pissed, and I'm shouting at the wind and she's like stop doing that it's not you're making a scene mm -hmm. i'm like fuck this and i go and i'm not and i just can't take it back i can't take it back and i'm just sitting in the in the parking lot and i just and i'm like i'm gonna just sit here maybe for two hours mm -hmm. i don't know what now, I'm let me do. let me just go through this real quick you yeah. bought this giant tv yeah. and nobody measured if sure it, didn't it, sure sure okay. didn't yeah sure didn't mm -hmm. that was what the fight was about i go should we measure she was like, no, nah, it'll fit. Mm. Get it out there. And now I'm mad at her. Okay. Yeah, I'd be pissed too. Yeah. yeah. Now I'm mad at her. Little fight goes on. You know those fights? She's like, she gets in. She's like, fuck this. And now I'm just standing there. She goes, just return it. I go, I'm not going to return it. I'm just going to sit here. Now, does she still have scratches from the she cat? Does <laughs> she does not. I'm glad you asked. Yeah. That was, that's a long time ago. Yeah. yeah, it's a long time ago. Very marked up though. Very bad scar. <laughs> it was a Jaguar. So, um, a fucking couple, this woman goes, comes by and goes, sorry, we were watching you guys. I mean, this, I can just, I was laughing because this would, this is the kind of fight he and I have. Do you, we have a truck. Do you want us to take that oh, somewhere? That's nice. I was like, yeah, I would love that. That's so nice. He goes, just follow us back to our house. Let's put the groceries in, put the thing in there, blah, 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 follow them back. And then, and then. Did they drive off their TV? They, I thought they were going to. <laughs> I, I was like, what a Just load thing. it up and then text that. Just want me either and they what just go the opposite way. Take off and that's, that's what you, that is yeah. a good scam. Nope. They were awesome. As we're pulling away from their house to go to, to my house, they. Um, Wait, why'd you go to their house? Because they had to they drop, had to drop off, off their, their ice groceries. Cream. They bought ice cream. Oh. So they had to drop off their ice cream. They were living in the same area. And then there is an enormous woman covered in blood. What's lying on the sidewalk on her back. Are you I lying mean, now? No, nope, I swear to God, she's covered in blood. Why did you start with story? this? She's enormous. And now the Good Samaritans, who are the Good Samaritans who said, we'll take your TV, she jumps out now to help the woman. Uh -huh. So I'm like, oh, Why fuck. was she covered in blood? Did she have a cat? She, had, she was walking her dogs. I guess she has fainting spells. She was giant. And she she had a, she had an, when I say she, she had an egg first? on her, yep. 
and she was just all covered in blood. Uh, and the eventful day at Costco. I, I know. And then her, I guess her husband had gone back to get the car because she was walking the dog. She lived in the neighborhood, and other people are there. And what do you do in that situation? What, what do you do? I'll tell what you what mean? I did. With the lady all covered yeah. up. Yeah. Call the ambulance. You call the ambulance. Yeah. You yeah. let them because there's so many factors going yeah. on with it. Yep. We had the same thing. Were you? Oh, you know what I did? No. You know what that I was did? I, I'm yeah, really I helpful. I go. I go. Um, just don't move. I go, stay there. And then to make her feel better, like I do so, I was like, happen to me. Happen to me. <laughs> <laughs> that, that helps. And everybody looks at me and they go, I go, happen to me. Same thing. I fell and I thought I was going to die. You're going to be totally fine. So nobody called anybody? No, they did. They called somebody. Oh, fuck. Of all like, things you could have said. It was so well. No, she said, I'm fine. I just, I had, this is not uncommon for me. I have fainting spells. Oh, like, wow. Probably shouldn't be walking around. Yeah, she's a, a big, a, an enormous woman. No, your guy was a stroke. Wait, guy. what were you going to say? My guy had a stroke in Kentucky. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, and we're just, I'm like, that guy's moving weird. And he was like, oh, shaking, no. And he just falls. Boom. You mean at the show? No. Oh. While we were, we were at, driving back from lunch to our Airbnb, we saw him walk in the neighborhood and just fell down. And what'd you do? Called the cop, ambulance. And then I was, and he was like, I don't need an ambulance. I just, uh, just give me a ride back to the house. And then we we're trying to get him in the car, but he couldn't bend his leg. And it was, a, it was impossible. Was he a large man? No. Oh. Normal dude, but he just, you know, the way he was all fucked up he couldn't <gasps> oh. bend his arm or leg oh, so no. we we're trying to figure out like a puzzle piece how to get in the car and then we had a smaller car so when we work, he was having a heart work. attack or it was a stroke yeah. he had a stroke yeah so then i was like dude i'm gonna call the cops so then we called the cops and I, he was like no i don't want that i was like dude you're bleeding you had a fucking stroke the cops are coming dude then we don't want to waste their time they're gonna show up we're not here dude. we can't have that yeah then the ambulance came and they they got him situated mm. that's the thing too because for me selishly mm. i was like now my friend is a good spirit has got my tv in the truck i, I want to get home it's gonna take it's said. an all-day project yeah and i'm like we gotta get we, i was busy with that guy for like four hours sitting there that's a long it, time it, mm. it took all the time that to go straight to the show was a nightmare yeah but you know, but you got to do it. You yeah. can't just be like, I got to go because I'm lazy. Yeah. yeah, you know, I don't have time for this. You'll be all right. Mm. Walk it off, mm. limp it off. In. Can I tell you a quick story? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So when I was doing about when I was a bouncer for two years, my friend's boyfriend was in the club. He got completely wasted, and then he was passed out on the sidewalk outside the club. Outside the club, they dragged him out. Security dragged him out. So I was like, Are you guys gonna call nine one one? They're like, No. Because if we call 911, it's on us, like the payment or something like for the ambulance, oh. something like that. So I was like, I feel like he, we should call 911. He's, he's not even responding. He's so just then, out, like foaming at the mouth? He was just kind of like barely breathing and just like, oh, oh yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. So call. I called his girlfriend and my friend, and I was like, they're not going to call 911. Do you want me to call 911? I feel like I have to call 911. Yeah. She goes, yeah, call it. So I finally called 911. So it's on me now because yeah. I'm the one that called. They picked him up, and apparently, from what she said, that he would have died that day. 100%. Yeah. yeah. What Wouldn't was wrong with him? I don't know. Respir respiratory drugs, stuff? Heavier set yeah. guy? No, no. He's just good looking, tall. Did you give tall. him mouth to mouth? <laughs> you touch his mouth? What? No. Dude, I'm trying to get all the details. You give him mouth to mouth? No mouth to mouth. But I did like stay by him, make sure that I'm what's got him. Was he wearing pants? He was wearing mm. <laughs> black when, pants. When that, guy had, when that guy was having a stroke, I looked at Jay and went, he's going to need mouth to mouth, and you have to do it. Jay goes, you know, Jay's like, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> I would do just hold his nose like a baby exactly bird and blow in his mouth. <laughs> Apparently, you're supposed to just push on his chest or something. I don't, I don't know, dude. We'll figure it out. And if you if you've done CPR training, that means you're liable for something, right? Yeah. No, if you don't yeah. know, no, 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 that's no. what I heard. No, no. no. That's, that's a myth. Okay. Okay. I took it like I don't think they said that years me. ago. Yeah, you can. You can absolutely. You should absolutely try to save something. Okay, so that cat thing you guys are talking about. Mm -hmm. Hilarious. Let's see. They held him up like Simba. <laughs> it's so crazy. Look how far. So cat's dangling. Kitty. And they're holding the American flag. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> Look how scared Aww. everybody is. Yeah, so is that hey, cat. You know that cat would be fine if he landed, right? Did he catch it in the flag? Yeah. yeah. Well, and they hold him up like Simba, and he scratches the piss out of him. <laughs> Oh, little cat. Look at the cat. He's all fuck, bro. Uh, <laughs> the crowd. The crowd. Hey, also crowd, it's a cat. Uh. Oh, the oh. The oh, they broke his fall. Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. Look at him tear this guy to pieces. Oh, we're kidding. That, that is so is funny. Fucking terrified. I guess they broke it. Oh, oh yeah, they are scratching right there. The piss out of this guy. He's like, ah. He's scratching everybody. <laughs> you gotta know cats, dude. Fuck cats. <laughs> fuck I hate cats. cats. You're not a cat guy. Fuck. Dude, I don't I like holding them. Guy. I don't mind them. I don't like cats. cats don't I don't trust people. You don't like people. cats? I uh -uh. fucking hate cats. God, they, they don't, don't care about you. No, they. You know you can leave a cat, and they do not care. 
Yeah. Like, if you had a cat, yeah, I know that. take your cat, take it to my house, he wouldn't give a fuck. You tame them, you can't domesticate them. They, they don't care they, they, they about have, owners. They don't care. They have the same yeah. mind as a But I don't hate them. No. You give a fuck no I, I don't them. want one. I, I don't hate I'm not going to go around and kill them, but I don't give well, a fuck Well, isn't that the thing it. where they have, a, they have a toxin? They think that they think that cats have a certain, carry a certain toxin that can actually cause you to go crazy later on in your life. Have you heard about that? Rogan had a thing about it on, on the podcast. I've never heard of that. Yeah. But another reason I'd buy it. So, so you remember that they used to say she's an old lady with her cats, an old crazy lady with her cats? Yeah, she's yeah, yeah. Cats. That, that can be correlated. Oh. That's a they, deep a cut, and I don't buy it, but yeah. Maybe. No, there, 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 it is. To, yeah, toxoplasma. It's a parasite that invades the brains of mice and organs of cats. It's a parasite that invades the brains of mice, resulting in a disease called toxoplasma. The parasite like can also infect always cat, cat, cat feces. feces. Yeah. Mm. So cat shit makes you crazy. They think. So yeah, don't eat cat yeah. shit, you know? <laughs> well, just <kind laughs> of, uh, I don't think they're consuming. Your, your, I think it's just the fumes of it being in the litter box in a house. Yeah. Well, the they, they also, actually, they also... Wait, the litter box have a, has a scent. Oh, yeah. But then the other question was, it could have, like, some kids who had brain tumors and owned cats, there was a correlation that they were, they were doing about that, too. Hmm. So... Crazy cat lady stereotype has been found. Oh, yeah, Brian. What knows? if that's like a common thing? I don't know. Yeah, I you don't know. know. Do you guys know who Tyler Harrow is? Yeah. Dude, right? super stud. I don't. Super stud? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I've never heard of him, obviously. He's the white boy from Miami. He hasn't been played great. He He's about to have a famous. kid. Really? Yeah. He was the one who the yeah, Instagram girl, uh, Barstool, had her on there. She was reaching out to him, and then she slid into his DMs. Then, like, after the game, he posted, like, her ass in his hotel room. Oof. They're about to have a kid. Oh really? Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh, they ended up being that, that. Yeah. Well, shit. Yeah. Because she's from Arizona. She used to cheer. Oh, so they ended up hooking up. I mean, getting yeah. married or whatever. No, I don't think they're. Oh. But having a kid. Okay. Yeah. They ended up having sex. But yeah. Then. But then like, a child though. But yeah, his girlfriend. I don't think they're. Well, I don't think it was planned. You know. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Well. That you not be yeah. upset about it. You though. could do a lot worse than that. Yeah. Oh, I remember now. Yeah, she's. That's her. She's phenomenal. Phenomenal. delicious. She's phenomenal. Yeah, she used to be a cheerleader ridiculous. back in Arizona. Jesus Christ. Yeah, she's ridiculous. I mean, good for him. Yeah. Well, well now they have a kid, so. Yeah. Good. I guess a girl yeah. saw him and got so excited she crashed her car. Holy shit. He's not that Park big. Park your of a car. car. Park your car. I thought you were looking for. Oh, shit. They're uh Yeah, they're 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 Oh, that's why oh, someone's saying, saying park your yeah, car. Park your car. Mm. Jesus. Yeah. yeah. Kind of just like rolled into the building. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't that bad. His name yeah. is Hero? Hero? Hero, oh, Hero, yeah. Wow. That's a cool name. You know the origin of Hero? Hero? No. Uh, I don't know if you did. You have a lot of, you know. What? He has a lot of knowledge on shit. The guy's last name? Yeah. yeah I bet bro. you it's Greek. I bet you something. See, there he goes. Something Look at it. He's got something for it. I bet you that. Come on, man. It comes from the Greek. Who gives a Hey, do you know the origin hey. story of his last name by chance? Hey, it's a good <laughs> question. Well, because he said he said he Tyler Harrow, but he probably does. Yeah, no, he's guessing. He just gave us. He's not a scientist, but look he gave up, us information about hero. global warming. I bet you it's either Roman or it's it's a Greek. It's a Greek derivative of something. No, H E R O. It was two R's. For hero? Yeah, it's hero yeah. Greek name. Spanish habitational name from. No, no, no. It's called no, Hero. I'm saying, what I'm saying is the etymology. We're really looking at this. Oh, it's okay. Hero. Hold on. It's a road I didn't want to go down. No, I Hold was on. saying H-E-R-O. Oh, you're saying. His, well, his name is spelled H-E-R-O. You're asking about his name in particular. Okay. I thought oh, there you go. Here's Hero. Hero. There you go. Word name. Ancient Greek meaning Hero. All right. Hero is a Greek word then. I was right. There you go. See? Well, no, Hero is. But his last name is H-E-R-R-O. Is it given name of ancient Greek origin? There you go. There you go. I was right. He was right. Oh, everybody's right. If he's right. Like this hero? <laughs> of course it's Greek origin. <laughs> you know how Mama Street just bullshitted you? No, I mean, the name hero. 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 Yeah, how did he bullshit you? What do you mean he said he knew it? <laughs> well, why? I mean, you know, it's hero. Who's this? Chris Helmsworth? Yeah. But when you see that, just the, that frame of it, oh, his dude, arm I, looks I've ridiculous. I've seen him boxing in person. He's, he's a fucking a guy. monster. I mean, his arms. Look at his arms. <laughs> yeah, never boxed, but he's fucking strong as shit. Big, very big. No, I've seen him box, dude. He, he can move. Yeah? Yeah, he can hit. Yeah. I need to start incorporating more of that. That's how I get rid of this gut. Boxing? More of those, uh, no, those fucking... He's a That's his dad? His dad yeah. passed away or something? No, no, there's a picture of him and his dad, and his dad looks just like him. Hold on a second. Old pictures right here. 
Oh shit! Oh, he does. Right. What is he Swedish or something or Australian? Oh, by way of Sweden. Hemsworth, is that Swedish? Please don't ask him. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> it's like you we know, don't want all the <laughs> <laughs> Save it for your podcast, you know. That, that's that was so boring to you. <laughs> what are the origins of? <laughs> <sighs> campaign finance reform at the end of the day before we do this i did want to bring up one uh one documentary i watched over the weekend that i thought brian and you would like which one it's called it's a hockey documentary oh, the, the hockey with the get with the mafia yep uh oh yeah i saw a little they're uh, based, Bill Burr was talking about they're it. based on that whole like the sopranos is based on them oh interesting because the dad is mafia james is a minor league hockey team Gives it to, to his son. eighteen year old son who's yeah. eighteen. Yeah. Seventeen at the time. Seventeen and just starts running the hockey team. And then what? so I, yeah. I watched it's a, the it's documentary. A hockey team? Yeah. It, yeah. it was it was yeah, a yeah, UHL team, it wasn't pro, but they had Mike Rupp who won the pro like when they had Mike Rupp come on, he had just won a Stanley Cup with the New Jersey Devils half an hour down the road. And he was playing for them. Everyone on the team uh, who was on the team, their family was on payroll for a no-show job. Fantastic. They were like even his son. Like you know how in the Sopranos, the kid's name is AJ. Same with that kid, oh, AJ wow. Galante. It was literally based off him. He had a trash empire. What's so, the What's the the dad's from what mafia? Do we know? Italian, um, I see. Italian, yeah, yeah. So wait, so so he. What's the dad's origins? Last name? Galante. Uh, probably. Just, I'd I'm say Sicilian. Doesn't matter. <laughs> wait, wait, so so. <laughs> So he He's buys his asshole. son a, a minor league hockey team to run it. To launder money. Yeah, because his kid... Oh, they're his, laundering money. Well, his kid also loved hockey so much, and he right. loved his So he used it as a way but to... So, imagine owning, yeah. operating a hockey team at so 17. So but the kid was like that bossing bad guy either. either. No, he wasn't he was bad. Good. Yeah, he was good. It was the craziest thing. He could thing. play hockey? Yeah. He could play hockey, and then he had an injury, and um, then he couldn't play anymore. That's why his dad bought it. But the kid was making the right moves for this team to be successful, which is insane. Wow. Hey, spoiler: Do they get busted in the end and go to prison? Yeah. Yeah. Well, well he's, he's out now. Usually, if you're this on Netflix. Yeah. 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 And then now, now the guy is a boxing promoter. Of course. And he owns a gym up in Dansbury. So when I go home for Thanksgiving, I'm hundred go percent going. Yeah. yeah. Get us it's some an, t-shirts. It's please. an hour away from my house. I'm going one hundred percent. Yeah. Oh wow. Because I, I grew up on. Can I get a lot of uh, a, a lot of story. funny business going on? A lot of tough Italian dudes out there. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. My, my friend, I don't know how true this is because it's we'll just. We'll say if it's true. He told me that because he's from Dansbury. He's like, he told me his dad coached the kid in high school and he's like, I grew up going to the games, but. That's fair. I don't know with him. I mean, it's mm. just like in. Dude, Gre it's a crazy story, though. The doc's supposed to be really good. They had Brett, uh, Gretzky's brother, one, like uh, one of the Gretzky's on the team. They Two of the kids who play on, played on the team lived two houses down from me back in Rhode Island. Were they a good team? Yes, they were good. They, the I think it was like tough, the right? first day. Yeah, the first day. Usually, like the owners never call the players before a game. Twenty minutes before the game, I think it was the owner, J the father called one of the players. Like, right when the puck drops, you're dropping the gloves. You got to fight. Fought the first game. The owner was caught punching someone in the face, like in the game. Like it was just a shit show. Yeah, that sounds fantastic. Then there was that bald guy I mean, who was like, "You're gonna play by my rules, right?" That that little dude. But. Yeah, but spoiler alert, every time like he got called in, like they made him seem like the biggest asshole, like everyone didn't like him. In the end, the FBI calls him in, asks him all these questions like, I don't know what you're talking about. James Galante is one of the nicest human beings, the most loving people didn't rat no on, him. on him. Nope. Wow. wow. And then there was an equipment, the equipment manager was my favorite person in the entire documentary I was telling Chin earlier. Whenever they would have a home game, the, when the away team would come, he would just leave in like one towel. He would hide the Hilarious. goalies' pads, hide everything. Like I don't know what the Hilarious. fuck's going on. I, I don't know. Christ, shit, I gotta watch. It's this. interesting. It, it I was, heard it's good. I was on the edge I of my seat the, the entire that, time. Back then, before cameras oh, were everywhere, you the mafia had real power. Before cameras were everywhere, I remember Connecticut in the summer times, even in Greenwich, Connecticut, and that's you. It was very easy to get the shit oh, beat yeah. out of you by giant Italian dudes. New London's bad now. It's fuck, man. Yeah. Really. Oh my okay. god, yeah. My friends go to Quinnipiac. It's really bad. Oh, that right dog is right up your alley, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. That's why I loved it so much. Uh, all right. Let's take kids. Uh, September 24th, 25th. That's not this weekend, but the following weekend. One show Friday, one show Saturday. Bud Light Event Center. Big shows for your boy. One show Friday, one show Saturday. I got freaking Derek Poston, David Lucas, Chappelle Lacey, and myself. We'll be there both Friday and Saturday shows. 
Then September 30th, October 2nd, Denver, Colorado. Mom, I'm coming home. Yes, you can have tickets. October 7th through hmm. the 9th, Las Vegas, Nevada. That's at the new Wise Guys Comedy Club in Las Vegas, Nevada. Then Brea, California is October 15th to 17th. Tickets at FATKZ or thickboy.com. Uh, come see me in Denver. September 23rd, 24th, 25th at Comedy Works. Maybe my favorite club. October 14th, 15th, 16th. Is that Magoogies? Ma I'm at Magoogies. Is that Magoogies? Magoogies. Maryland. Maryland. Yeah, no, no, actually, then I, what am I doing? The Denver is September 23rd, 25th through 25th. Then September 30th, October 2nd, I'm in Chicago, Illinois at the Schomburg. Loose term Chicago. Uh, yes, I'm at the Schomburg Improv. Loose term. Outside. Yes, Chicago. yes, sir. So Denver and Chicago at the end of this month. Let's go. Far out of Chicago. October 7th through the 9th, Tampa, Florida, Side Splitters. October 28th through the 30th, uh, DC Comedy Loft in Washington, DC. You look like you're telling ghost stories in that picture. <laughs> I know. I don't know who. <laughs> it's a good pick. You gave him that picture? It's a good pick. Yeah, Miko, Miko I do like my Sonic so Youth t shirt. Ghost story? Yeah. I like it. It's a good pick. I, I like that pick. Okay. All right. Well, if you guys there like you it. All right, kids. There that's it. Love you. We're out. <laughs> Zoom in.